Yeah, the 22 players and the coaches out there and the umpires and the voice, Craig Willis. By the way, added a couple of extra words in there just to get a few more bucks on uh, this trip to the MCG. Did the voice of the AFL. The two teams are out there. We're ready to go. Here's Seb Costello with some stats. Thank you, BT. The Roos looking to win their sixth in a row tonight, a very important one too. And in their favour, they do use the ball better than any other side, bar Essendon in 2014. That's based on disposal efficiency. Of course, the Cats have got them twice this year. Tom Hawkins averaging two goals a game against the Roos and a bag of four earlier in the season. But arguing against that, I'll get your view in a second, Lloydie. Scott Thompson, 14 intercept possessions last week. A game high for the Kangaroos and the Bombers, so he's in form as well. A couple of milestones for Geelong as they gather at the city end. The finals record holder for the Cats, Jimmy Bartell, playing his official 300th game, including home and away pre-season and state of origin clashes. Rivers playing his 200th official AFL game, including the pre-season. And Mitch Duncan clopping up his 100th home and away. But Lloydie gave a few stats there. Hawkins and is it going to be Thompson? Oh, well, I think it has to be, Seb, but uh, he could be bold Brad Scott and try and send a, a Grimer type to say, see how, can, how you can go on Hawkins and allow Thompson to come third man up. But, uh, Lingy, do you think it'd be a crazy move to do that in Thompson's oh, man? Not necessarily a crazy move. I, I just worry whether or not the body strength is there from Grimer. He's a, an important player for North Melbourne, but... Once you get in that one-on-one wrestle with a Tommy Hawkins, there maybe there's not many in the league who can actually do it. Uh, Brian Lake did it last week very, very well. So, Grimer, I just, I just don't know. I think the safer bet is to go with Scotty Thompson there. They do love him coming off and helping out. But for me, as we always say, this is a midfield battle between two high-quality midfields. You've got Swallow, Zeeble, Cunnington, Wells, Harvey on one hand. On the other one is Geelong with Joel Selwood last week. He was the one who stood up. The others probably didn't stand up as much as I expected them to. They need a lift from Duncan, Motlop, Guthrie, Hall and Smith. Though Hall and Smith was pretty good last week. They need to, the real improvement in that midfield group to make sure that it's not just all left up to the skipper, Joel Selwood. Cameron Ling and Matthew Lloyd there as the respective players. Uh, Doc, just remind us of the subs uh, for each side again. Uh, yes, Brian. Ryan Bastanak, who has been sub before in the green vest, and Lincoln McCarthy, the youngster coming in for Geelong in the green vest, has his friend before. And right. a friend of Lingy's as well tossed the coin, George Ramia. He, he, he tossed it. Georgie Ramia yes. did. Wow. Who's Georgie Ramia? A fellow Link. hotel uh, owner oh. in uh, Geelong. Yeah. Looked like he had a bit of hotel here about. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that you might look like that too. Uh, <laughs> you, you got a bit of George Ramia about you. He loves a bit of bling, yeah. Georgie. Yeah, yeah, Grimer. Uh, Grimer has gone to the Tom Hawkins. So they've released Scotty Thompson. Thompson can just go third man up. So it's going to be some great matchups all over this ground. Down full back. Tommy Lonergan's gone to Drew Petrie. And Harry Taylor's gone to Ben Brown, the man of last week. So let's get it on. Geelong, North Melbourne. In two hours' time, one of these teams' season will be over from the ball up. Both Ruckman completely missed it. Hit the deck. Swallow on hands and knees. Fix it out to Cunnington. Gave it to Goldstein. Gets the kick inside. 50. Bouncing ball. Brown there. Couldn't quite pick it up. Picking it up was Petrie. Gave it to Thomas. Goal! Good guys. Goal of the night. 15 seconds. How's that for a start on the RACV scoreboard for 13 RACV for business insurance? Oh, fantastic start, Dwayne. Called that one beautifully. Gee, that was exciting. Came from the centre clearance there. Andrew Swallow, the skipper of North Melbourne, getting his knees dirty, fed the ball out. It was just a bit of a mongrel kick forward by Todd Goldstein, but sometimes, Lloydie, early on in games, that puts the defenders under the most pressure. A bit of a chaos ball. That's right. Blixar's in the ruck against Todd Goldstein. He's just got to compete hard. Goldstein should be aiming for BOG tonight up against inexperienced Ruckman in Blick, Sars and Walker. Lloydie and Lingy on board for AW Friday night semi-final footy weekend. RACV scoreboard, North Melbourne by a goal in the opening 15 seconds. Back in the middle we go. Here's an opportunity for Gibson and North. Got a head high tackle, no free. Eventually extracted by Guthrie. Gave it to Duncan. Mackey squirts it off half back. Goes to half forward. Looking for an opportunity in the air. Couldn't get it there, Mitch Brown. Now it spills to ground. Swallow just inches out the handball, going backwards to try and buy a bit of time for Grimer. He then gives the handball around the corner to the right, who was very, very impressive last week. Kicks over the head of Goldstein, got one hand on it. Here's the Brown Taylor matchup. Taylor wins the first, kick around the corner, and Geelong have got it to centre wing. Hits the deck, but Donald couldn't quite break free with it, but wins himself a free kick, the young kangaroo. 
at halfback flank. Everybody takes a breath. It's been a frenetic start. And the kick terrible over the head of Scott Thompson. He gets there in the end. And he tie ropes the boundary. Had a bounce. Didn't bounce back to him. Goes the 1 2 with Goldstein, who ignored him. Kicks it himself inside 50. And a great mark, Selwood. Backing back inside defensive 50. Holds strong and takes a good grab. Release kick is long. Hoping for the bounce to favour Brown. He gets it. Kicks around the body towards half forward. Caddy. Nice grab. Quick play on's on offer if he wants it. Duncan's over the top. McDonald tries to shut him down. Duncan's got the pace, got the speed, runs inside 50, lines it up, bang! Another good guy's goal of the night. Two minutes in. And she's all tied up. Ripping start for this one. Joel Selwood is the glue at the moment for Geelong. What a match-saving mark that was. They wouldn't want to go two goals down. The courage of Joel Selwood at centre-half back, taking the grab, he rolled off. Mitch Brown. Great to get himself involved. He's got to try and occupy Scotty Thompson tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Big role to play. You're right about Joel Selwood. Yeah. So courageous, going back, saving his team. And that's what Mitch Duncan does very well for Geelong. He's a good runner, work rate to get on the end of it, and then a really good finisher. He was ordinary last week against the Hawks, so he needs to make sure that he has a big impact on tonight's game. And he certainly started well, but well done by the skipper. All right, ready to go here again. Goal apiece on the RACV scoreboard. Back in the middle. This time Goldstein wins it down against Blitzars. Duncan spinning pirouette out of the middle. Ran himself into a tackle. Was a little head high as the umpire said, let it go. And these umpires won't be wanting to make a mistake here tonight <laughs> because they want, a, they want a grand final too. Three and a half minutes gone. Goal apiece. Umpire Matthew Nichols, the best bouncer in the ball, throws it up in the middle. Little handball out from Gibson. Opportunity to move the forward once again through McMillan. McMillan got it to centre half forward for North Melbourne. Over the back of the pack it came to Taylor. He spun into a Del Sano tackle. Ball spilt loose in that tackle. Mackie now there. It comes out again to Gibson of North Melbourne. Gave the little handball to Attlee. Now to McDonald. McDonald wide to Wells. Wasn't he good last week? Wells goes backwards to Thompson. Thompson corralled by Hawkins. Gives it to Wells. Wells elusive. Swings on the left. Not so good. Great pressure. Pushed him on the kick. Attack was good, not quite in the end. Picked up by Goldstein. Little flick handball. Dow Sato goes back to the wing to Wells. So they're dancing on the wing here. Greenwood in board. Cut off by Kelly. Dumps it clear, but McDonald was waiting. Half back for North. Good start to this game. Wright goes in board. Finds Gibson. He pumps it long. Petrie's his target. One on one. Didn't get there in the end. Brown. Half volley wasn't good. Enright picks it up. Caught by Petrie. Economy ball. Took him on. Lost big time. Oh, huge forward pressure that by the big man, Drew Petrie. We think of forward pressure coming from the little blokes. It was Corey Enright, the Geelong champ, and on the Nowicki carbone replay, that is a perfect tackle. Just pinned one of Corey Enright's arms. Couldn't get rid of it. Couldn't get the legal disposal. If he goes back and kicks this now, that'll give his team a huge lift. Crowd has built in the last 15 to 20 minutes. Might be upwards of 60,000 now. It's Petrie from 45 out. 45 degree angle. Nails it. North back in front. Two straight to one straight. Five minutes gone. First term brought to you by RACV. Call 13 RACV for business insurance. Cameron Ling and Matthew Lloyd on 3AW Football. Uh, huge that was from Drew Petrie. Started where he left off last week. What a last quarter it was by Petrie against the Bombers. Some great matchups out there. Taylor and Ben Brown, as we've already touched on, but Andrew Mackey is on young Kane Turner. So Turner, I haven't seen him play live yet, but Mackey, he's just going to sit off him. I can already see it. He's trying to lay off, help out, not paying too much respect to Kane Turner. But a real good start from the midfield of North Melbourne. Wells, Zeeble, Cunnington look really sharp. Back in the middle of the ground, two goals to one. It's that simple in favour of the Ruse. Zebel out of the middle looking to get it to Wells. Wells, little handball, swallow caught in the tackle. Not before he got rid of the ball, though. It's a hot footy in the middle. Motlop sockers it out wide. Players give chase. Big hello to Bobby Gill, the former mayor of Paran. And the ten boys out in the factory at Dandenong, all listening to 3W football at the moment as they continue work in the workshop. Ball comes to Gibson of North Melbourne. Little drawing handball to Boomer Harvey. Game 3-8-3. Driving footy inside 50. Bartell got back from market. Snap it. Goal here. Opportunity. Thomas gets another one. Thomas has kicked his second goal. North third. Three straight 18. Geelong one straight six. RACB scoreboard. Electric start to this game. Oh, certainly is, BT. Absolutely electric. 
I thought Lindsay Thomas had done the wrong thing here. He decided to stay down, but actually didn't have a forward who could jump at it. James Kelly looked to have a good, clear mark, but Jimmy Bartell, his teammate, spoiled him, brought the ball to ground, and gee, Lindsay Thomas doesn't need too many opportunities like that. He is a fantastic finisher. It's James Kelly who's got the job on him, so he'll be really disappointed that his teammate caused him to spill the mark and then his opponent kicked the goal. But what a start it's been. Both teams really fast-paced, but North Melbourne have been very, very good. And North Melbourne uh, taking some ownership of the scoreboard there, saying so make some noise, North Melbourne fans. So someone operating the scoreboard, obviously on North Melbourne side, even though the Cats finished higher on the ladder. And technically, this is the Cats' home game. Ball back in the middle. Hey, Seb, what are the overall disposals? 40 to 10 in favour of North Melbourne. Goldstein, little flick down was good. And a right tackle, Guthrie, and the umpire lets him go. He was high on Del Santo, but Del Santo should have shrugged him high. And that's why the umpire said stalemate. And the flick down again was perfect by Goldstein. The Greenwood's kick was smothered. Ball hits the deck, running hard. Del Santo tries the flick over handball. Turner gives it to Thomas. This is for number three. Runs to 30. Oh, boy. Lindsay Thomas, three goals in eight minutes. Trouble. Good to see they're not taking him off the ground either. North Melbourne, four straight. Geelong, one straight. Eight minutes gone. Opening turn brought to you by RACV. James Kelly's looking for somewhere to hide, Dwayne. He's the man on Lindsay Thomas, and he's nowhere near him. But the problem is through the midfield. The clearances have been all North Melbourne, four to one early in the game. They look far too quick. So they've just got to start getting stronger in the centre bounce. They put Caddy in there. They've got Holland, Smith and Selwood. Probably their three hardest players. Bartel's in the goal square. Maybe they'll have to bring up him up soon, Lee. And Lloydie, on those clearances, it's 7-1 to one, the hit out. So yeah. Goldstein already having an impact on this game. And it's four goals to one goal in favour of North Melbourne, who have started brilliantly. Geelong get an entry inside their 50. Not a real good one, but nevertheless it was there. Grimer soccer the ball along the ground. Got it out of his area. Went straight to Guthrie. Greenwood wearing him looked like a glove. I tell you what, they are switched right on at the moment, the ruse. Here's an opportunity for Walker. Walker of North Melbourne couldn't control it. Cunnington, McDonald, Atley all combining. The runoff half back to Ferrito, the Mexican. Chiseling ball to Brown through the middle. Harry Taylor. Taylor got a fist there and knocked it away. So Harry wins his second contest against Taylor. Rivers goes long without direction and Grimer marks last line of defence for the Roos. Yeah, Jimmy Bartell was free but it was an ill-directed kick. Grimer goes wide and black. Can't take the mark. Half-back flank. Almost kept it into his detriment. He did keep it into his detriment. He gave it to Duncan who was taken out by Gibson. Ball in. 60 from Geelong's goal. Great example, Lloydie, of what Ben Brown's going to face tonight. He was full tilt on that lead there, but he didn't have the break of three or four metres like he had last week. Harry Taylor right up his backside, quality defending. Blitzars does some ruck work here and wins front spot, but knocks it straight down to his own feet. And we'll get another ball up. This time just outside Geelong's attacking 50. North Melbourne four straight, Geelong one straight, hot start, 10 minutes gone, pain away clock first. Cats staying with Kelly on uh, the man of the moment, Lindsay Thomas, who's kicked three in the opening eight minutes of this game. Ball up, 52 metres out from Geelong's goal. By the way, they're kicking to the city end in the first quarter. The Roos are kicking to the punt road end. Johnny Longmire on the no wiki carbone screen here, watching the game. Free kick will go the way of the Cats here. 55 metres out from goal. Selwood's got it. We'll drive it to the top of the square. Players turn and look now. Over the top comes the mark. And the mark is taken here by Walker. And Walker has marked the footy for Geelong 20 metres out directly in front. That was a great grab, Walker. He did this last week against Hawthorne. Drifted out of the game in the second half. but Two brilliant marks early. They were. He's a great contested mark and they need this. Scotty Thompson, he was competing with there. Jumped over the top of him. If he can be dangerous, it makes Thompson have to think about someone else other than Tom Hawkins. Directly in front. For their second goal, the Cats. In the opening 11 minutes of this, and he's got it. So both sides kicking very straight. Geelong at two straight, north of four straight on the RACV scoreboard. Doc for Azito. James Kelly came to the bench on the phone straight away to the coach. A bit going on in the Geelong bench? Well, yeah, Bob was actually talking to himself pretty loudly when he came off the ground, as you might imagine. He's a competitor, Lingy. He was absolutely swearing. I thought he was going to kick the bottle, but he didn't. But straight onto the <laughs> phone to the coach's box. Just a little chat, perhaps a little bit of a redirection. Yeah, that's important. Uh, he's such a he's such a quality player and such a competitor. They'll just give him a second to rest up and get his uh, mind switched back onto the job he's got to do. But 
I'm sure he'll be eager to get back out there and make amends for the start. And they've shifted Andrew Mackey over to him. So it'll be interesting to see if Cali goes back to him or they leave Mackey on for the rest of the night. Matthew Lloyd and Cameron Ling on 3RW football. Back in the middle. Blitzarch jumps high and wins the palm down. And almost off the square. Stokes, he flicked one through legs. Couldn't quite get it away. And the umpire will ball it up even though he had his head jumped on. Still inside the centre circle virtually. 24 plays 12. North Melbourne lead. Lindsay Thomas, if he just joined us, has three goals already from the palm down. Selwood gets there, but he goes backward to go forward. Devarco, he flicks that handball behind Enright. And they're making it tough for themselves early. Gives it to Mackey. Short to Thurlow. Ugly bounce. Got it in the end. Umpire's found something. And it's a throw. It's going North Melbourne's way, is it? Yeah, against yes. Mackey. Gee. It was a late call, Dwayne. Okay, so a throw. Free kick set a half forward. North Del Santo is going to take it. No complaints from Mackey either. So Del Santo's got the ball in those fluoro lime green boots in the middle of the ground. Thomas offers the lead. He's kicked three already. Del Sano, 75 metres out. Here comes Petrie. Oh, He's got kick. five metres on Lonigan. It was a sensational kick into the space. Petrie will line up where he kicked his first goal from, 30 metres out on a 45 angle. BT, that was one of those kicks that you talk about all the time where the kicker... The magnet actually, ball. Yeah, the magnet ball that forced Drew Petrie to come at the ball. Superb kick by Del Santo. So this for their fifth straight goal. What a start. 13 minutes. Petrie comes in and bangs it through. North unbelievable. Five straight. Geelong two straight. RACB scoreboard. First quarter, 13 gone. Paint away clock. It was a throw just on the Wiki Carbone replay. Travis Varco just didn't get his hand on the ball when he released it. But uh, the pressure of Geelong is where this game is being lost at the moment. Just seven tackles for Geelong, Seb. Spot on. And a lot of premiership players, Lloydie, yet to get their hands on the footy. Bartel, Kelly, Varco just had his first uh, feel for it a moment ago and got pinged for that throw. So a lot of these guys yet to record a disposal on the Blamey Saunders stat sheet. Where's all that footy gone from earlier in the year? The rolling mall and... Yeah. <laughs> all of that stuff that we hated so much and it's just all of a sudden, it's a different game in finals, isn't it? Yeah. I reckon the good teams play fast, fluent football, though. It's only the daggy teams that drag it down and uh, thankfully, I think a couple of teams have woken up to the fact that they want to actually be watched. You've got to play good footy. Yeah, it's always better to watch, as we know, good teams going at it. They play very good football. That's why it's the best game in the world. From the ball up, Guthrie gets the clearance, kicks to half forward, high ball, Blitzar's waiting there, almost traps it, does trap it, but he's then trapped, right drags him down, drags him down to the ground, the umpire will have to ball this up, at half forward for the Cats, but outside they're attacking 50, 12 plays 30, Kangaroos lead, Blitzar's doing okay in the ruck, although he missed his target there, down to Swallow, kick smothered, ricochets to Greenwood, got his hands free, to Harvey, put his head down, hoping for a free, taken down, got a free in the back, Boomer's free. Yep. Right in front of the MCC members, driven into the ground. He got a fair introduction to the turf. Boomer. Back. Desperate to play, we're told. And here he is, playing where he wanted to. MCG, finals time. Wells, marks on the wing, transfers the ball to Thompson. Thompson at true centre-half back here, can go on with it to Atley. Now Atley marks on the wing, right on the Hilux black Toyota logo. Little short kick, I think it's McDonald out there, finds him. It is. The left foot of McDonald, right over the Hilux black logo. A long drilling ball. Here they come again, Harry Taylor had to back in. Very bravely did it without a blink. Harry, it was sensational stuff. Now in there is Turner. Geelong players down here, I think it's Stokes. Something wrong with his head or his mush as we have a ball up 30 metres out from North Melbourne's goal. And Stokes looks just a little groggy. Copped a real good solid hip and shoulder from Zeeble. Second one he's copped so far tonight from the ball up. Down to Motlop. Flicks it back to Stokes. He looks okay now. Kicks out to outside defensive 50. Hawkins up on the wing. Ball went through his legs. Rolls to the back. McBillan gets there first for North Melbourne. Backtracks. Looks for a handball option. Thompson caught. That should be ball. Guthrie wrapped him up, he dropped it, Bartell play on to advantage, flicks a little kick over to Caddy, he could go all the way from 50, sizes them up and he gets pushed on the kick and he misses, only a behind, the first behind to either team tonight, 16 minutes in opening term, paint away clock, 30 plays 13, Kangaroos lead. The young Ben Brown looks like he's got lead legs at the moment, you know, when it gets ahead of him, you've got the lead in the, in the thighs, yes. he is running like he's got lead in his legs, <laughs> as North Melbourne race down half back, it comes Brown's direction now, Harry Taylor got back again, oh. Brown reached over the top and took a nice mark, 
So he wins that contest. Going to be an enthralling one tonight. Brown's kick to uh, Wells on the lead. Drop the simple mark. Interesting that Wells has gone forward for his little rest. And now oh. Motloff on the rebound. Kicked it straight to Del Sano. He just came off the bench. Motloff didn't see him come on. Del Sano came straight on. Got a kick from the wing. Short pass to Harvey. Boomer looks up. Little handball back to Del Sano to send it long towards Zeeble, past Zeeble to Goldstein, resting forward, ball hits the deck, Zeeble gets it now, flicks it to Brown, tried to knock on, gets it to Turner, and he turns around and bangs for another one. Guthrie says it will touch. Will they go to the video here? Will they go to the video? Yeah, I reckon they will. Yep. And that's why the booze from North Melbourne fans, so this will be checked. Umpire's call is a goal. Five straight North Melbourne at the moment. Geelong 2-1-13. Gee, Dwayne, I don't know, just looking at the No Wiki Carbone screen, it's because players are almost blocking, obscuring yeah. the view. I don't think this is going to be conclusive. Oh, hang on, here's We've one. got a better angle now, BT. No, it's a goal. That's a goal, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, went under the hands. I think it'll be umpire's call all the way here. And just add to that great North Melbourne start. Waiting on the decision. Goal. North Melbourne 6 straight 36. Geelong 2 1 13. RACB scoreboard. They are too quick at the moment, North Melbourne. Just the disposal 70 to 24. That is unheard of, a discrepancy like that. So I look around now and think, how does Geelong win this game? And I'm looking at Stevie Motlock, has been quiet for a number of weeks. He needs to improve and get into this game and have a big one. Travis Varco just looks a bit sluggish. Those type of players, Mitch Duncan, they obviously it starts in the middle with your, your in and under players, but they need big games on the outside. Yeah, you're right, Lordy. You're absolutely spot on. They need to lift. They've gone with the big, tough blokes in the middle for Geelong. The hard nuts who've done it over the years, Jimmy Bartell and Joel Selwood in the centre bounce, along with Cam Guthrie. They need to start winning some ball in there somehow. Six goals to two in favour of North Melbourne. In the opening 19 minutes of this semi-final at the G. Umpire Nichols going to throw it up again in the middle after an initial ball up went nowhere. Goldstein was there, couldn't win it. Walker in the ruck, did well, knocked it down. Gibson of North Melbourne got it towards Brown at centre-half forward. Harry Taylor was there. Blitzarves was there as well. An opportunity now at ground level. North Melbourne players appealing for a free here. Umpire Matthews Nichols says no. We'll ball it up as trapped on the bottom of that was gentleman James Kelly. And a ball up here, attacking 50 for the Ruse. Right on centre-half forward, and Silver gets a little nudge to the back as he gets a handball to Farco. Kicks wide, rolling ball, tumbling ball, right and brown of the Cats variety. Chase it down, a couple of browns out there, of course. Mitch for the Cats, sees it to the wing, and we'll get a ball in. Six goals straight. North Belmont on the RACB scoreboard, 13 RACB. For business insurance, Geelong 2-1, 13. Here's Brian Taylor. Kelly gone back to Thomas. I'm not sure whether you mentioned that, boys, uh, and I wasn't listening, but back on him since no. he's come off the bench. No, we hadn't. Yeah, so they, I think they took him off. He got on the phone to the coach. Mackie went to him for a while, but you're right. Kelly's back on him. He'd be nervous. Wouldn't want to have four kicked on him in a quarter. <laughs> Boundary throw in centre wing. Anyone's footy here. Goldstein was there right on the Hilux Black unbreakable logo. The Hilux Black coming soon. Thanks to our great mates at Toyota. We'll have another ball up here. Centre wing, neutral territory. Goldstein doing the ruck. Walker filling in for Blitzarves. Knocks it down. Gibson, who's played quite well of North Melbourne. Kicked a high footy. Taylor was there with the thump away over the top of the back. And in front here is Thomas. Takes it towards the boundary. And this time hotly pursued by Kelly. We'll have a boundary throw in at half forward for North. BT, you mentioned uh, Walker in the ruck filling in for Blitzarves. Blitzarves actually gone back and is now playing on Ben Brown. So Harry Taylor's moved to Drew Petrie, so they're throwing those Ruckman around a bit, Geelong, they're not happy with the start, the fact Goldstein's just dominating so much. And they're allowing the ball to drop at their feet at the moment the Cats just trying to nullify in the Ruck, stop the big knock clear Ima- be, Imagine there'll be a lot of third men up. And that's exactly what we get here, down to Harvey, quick fire handball to Swallow Breaks through traffic, kicks to full forward. Down there, Zeeble. Rivers got a fist on it. Thomas plays for the free. Surprise, surprise. Yeah. Didn't get it either. Did he ever. And the ball out of play. Forward pocket for North Melbourne. Lindsay has three. What's the most you kicked in a quarter, Lordy? Six. Oh, oh <laughs> give us a spell. BT? <laughs> Six. <laughs> Boundary throw in. Oh, wouldn't you love to, be able to say four. that? Four. Four for me. Four. 
Knocked down Goldstein. He is dominating in the ruck. Guthrie's handball was almost sharp. Enright got the kick away. Cleared at the middle of the ground, but Thompson was in front of his man, Hawkins, who fell over. Now the ball in dispute at ground level comes out. An opportunity for the uh, Cats here to open up. Stokes just doubles back momentarily, buying a bit of time and space. Then a horrible kick out wide to Caddy. Selwood was annoyed by it. was punched away by McDonald. Over the line, out of bounds, centre wing will have a boundary throw in. So you know, that one time you kicked six, Lordy, what was it like? No, which one do you want me to tell you about? <laughs> oh, you did it twice. No, a couple of times, Oh, yeah. oh my goodness. <laughs> Credit you can dunk, leave you on and it. Was, you just felt unbeatable, Dwayne. Six <laughs> and a quarter. I mean, not many have done it, Lordy, but uh, yeah, we're it in is a, a great club, aren't we? Yeah, it's just uh, it's one of those things you go, wow, how good am I? Here I am, giving it to me. Caddy on the Bartell inside the centre square. Horrible kick by Bartell. Thompson there to pick up the scraps of North Melbourne. A short ball put Swallow under pressure, and he's been paid a free kick in defence of 50. What'd you end up with for the game, Lordy, if you can? I uh, got 13 against the Swans and 11 against the Dogs. Uh, BT? Oh, 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 10, I think. Just the 10. Yeah. Well, there was that story of Billy Brownless getting... It was the it was the day I took my my um, future wife to the footy. It was oh, the first time I'd ever taken it. You're trying to turn it, it, it on for and a ball. By said, the way, the ball's out of bounds <laughs> on the wing. Here. I said, stuff you. I'll just turn it on for my wife. Oh, <laughs> my future wife. There is that story of Billy Brownless, I think, getting chastised by the coach post-game one day where he kicked 16 for, <laughs> for uh, I think, assumption or jerudery. And uh, he said, how come you haven't got me? He said, well, you had 12 of them at half time. Didn't give us much in the second half. <laughs> From the ball up, Cunnington breaks free, flicks it back to Swallow. He gets back to Gibson. Half-back flank. Looks up. Not a lot forward. Took too long. Kick smothered. Has to go back with the handball. They get out of it. Swallow's got it at half-back again. Now to right. Flicking this handball around to McMillan. He goes wide. Del Sando again. Half-back flank. And he loads up to the wing and Gibson can go. He's got inside right. Hands it to right. Has a bounce. Looks up. Black. Zeebel. Who do you want? Black's up. Hits the deck. No, not quite. Rivers just got there in time. Blitzars. Gets back, full back, wrapped up, no prior ball up. Just between centre half forward and full forward for North Melbourne. They lead six straight for Geelong 2 1 13, 24 gone in what will be a long first term. Yeah, good quarter of footy, some really good footy being played here at the moment, particularly by North Melbourne. Quick handball out, Mackey found Rivers. Left foot kick was a little fortunate to land in the waiting arms of Enright, and it wasn't the required 15 in my book, but it's been paid. Enright, chisely little kick to Selwood. Selwood, top of the defensive goal square, short kick, finds Varco. Varco oh, runs and plays oh. on with a kick that was off the side of the boot really badly. It went out of bounds right near the North Melbourne bench, but at least he's got it out of the zone here. But North have not kicked the ball well in this first quarter. Jared Rivers a little bit sore for the Cats. I'm sure the Doc will give us an update on that soon. Looks like he's going to stay out in the ground and hopefully just a bit of a knock, but hobbling around. Selwood doing some rock work and obviously loses it down to Cunnington from Goldstein, he gets it to Wells, it'll fumble and he go back to Grimer, missed him with the handball and we'll get another ball in Dr. Peter Larkins on the boundary for Azito Yeah, Lingy all over, left knee for Jared Rivers, so got caught underneath the pack and got a knock on the knee, the doc's just having a chat with him he's on Zebel in the goal square, looks like he's coming good though, Lingy. Do it yourself with Azito Power Tools, value guaranteed. Available at all Bunnings, boundary throw in, Goldstein knocked down, blitz arms at the back, got it to Enright his kick was partially smothered by Swallow but Duncan got on the end of it, gave it to Selwood so they've just owned a little bit of the footy in the last minute or so here but their skills still aren't right as Selwood exemplifies with a handball that was pretty straightforward to Stokes and it missed him by a metre over the line out of bounds right in front of the MCC members inside 50s 12 to 6 North Melbourne's way for Blaney Saunders here they have to get the ball into Hawkins he hasn't had one contest yet that's Lloyd sitting next to him Ling and here's the Cats Motlop threw a bit of traffic got the ball to half forward no winner here an opportunity at ground level is Mitch Brown battling it out for the Cats and he'll lock the ball in and give them the ball up right on their 50 metre line a rarity in the Geelong forward end of the ground. That's what Geelong can do, though. If they do get those couple of opportunities into Tom Hawkins, they can score quickly. If North Melbourne want to complete this quarter, they've got to finish it off and not allow costly goals. Caddy broke through, but his handball was straight to Ferrito. He was playing in front. Ball hits Brown on the wing. Brown of the North Melbourne variety. Hands it off to Greenwood. They're sniffing another one here. Lindsay Thomas is running for him. He's ignored. He goes short. Nice pass. Zeebel plays on. He can go to full forward if he wants to. He goes to Petrie at centre half. And Petrie marks it. He's within range, but he is 50 out. He backtracks. He'll kick from right on the paint with no angle to contend with at all. And four and a half minutes left in the quarter. Hey, Seb, handball receives uncontested possessions. 
mate, because I've been smashed the cats. Yeah, heavily in favour of North Melbourne, Lloyd. He's 67 to 22, uncontested. 45 to 14, handball receives. Wow. So Petrie for his third. Strikes it a little thin, and uh, it is only a behind. So the first blemish for North, 6-1. 37 to Geelong, 2-1. 13, 27 gone. Opening turn brought to you by the RACV. Oh, kick back into play by Mackey. Went over the head of Blitzarm. Picked up by Goldstein. Left foot snap. Goal. Good guys. Goal of the night from Big Gottlieb. Big screen TV super sale on now. Kick to the good guys out of DFO with Essendon Fields there. North on fire here. They kick their seventh first quarter goal. 7-1-43 to feeding Geelong and leading Geelong. 2-1-13, 27 and a half, gone. Oh, I've never seen this. I've never seen. That was Andrew Mackey kicking in for, from goal there, straight over the head of Blitzars. I have never seen Geelong make as many simple skill errors in a long, long time. It's North Melbourne's pressure. They have been outstanding with the pressure they've brought around the ball carrier, their pressure all over the ground, and they're making even the most skillful players to play the game. Folks like Andrew Mackey cough the ball up from the ball up absolutely stunned everybody here and the dive in from Wells was low took the leg out and finally they're paying that free again haven't seen it for a month and that time Wells dived into the legs of Selwood and he kicks forward long Hawkins gets a chance to look at the Sharon here big pack Walker flies got hands to it didn't bring it down Thurlow lays a tackle a burrowing North Melbourne player tried to take him on head first but it'll be a ball up 50 sorry 45 metres out from Geelong's goal. They trailed 2-1 to 7-1. Still four minutes left in the quarter. We've played 28 and a half. Been an avalanche of goals. Nine collectively kicked here so far. North Melbourne swallow through the middle of the ground. Handball to Petrie. Knocked it down. Kelly got it but was immediately tackled. Ball spills to Wells. He sharked out the handball magnificently to Greenwood. Greenwood around the corner with a little one looking for Cunnington. Punched away on this occasion by Geelong's Thurlow. Over the line, out of bounds it goes. Right in front of the North Melbourne bench. We'll throw it in. 7-1-43 North. Geelong 2-1-13. Boundary umpire will let it rip. And he does nicely. Blitz and Goldstein. Beautiful palm down by Goldstein to Wells. Ripping handball by Wells. Over the top there. Got it to Wright. Wright gives it to McDonald. McDonald to an under pressure Ferrito. Ferrito's kick wasn't great. Black had to go back. He did well. Gibson's handball missed the target. This gives Kelly a chance. Went to his knees. Won the handball to Harry Taylor. Yeah, and the player went over him as well. North Melbourne fans thought that was a leg chop. Oh, Thompson went the fist. Could have gone the mark. Lucky gets away with it. The fist landed in the arms of Grimer. He goes wide. And Gibson took a step, and now he holds it up, and Harvey and Kelly, and Kelly takes a mark. He punched it away initially, and the punch came back to him. He goes inboard to Selwood. He goes to Thurlow. He goes inboard looking for Jimmy Bartell on the bounce. It bounces kindly. Hands it up to Mackey. Little fumble. About to go inside 50 of the Cats. A wobbler. And Walker pulls down a good pluck. About 40 out. And uh, no need to tell you. They need it. <laughs> they do. Just to put some scoreboard pressure on, walk in, and you're uh, you know, five goals down. And, and he'd be talking to them, Chris Scott, at ha- quarter time, saying we don't need to be level at half time. We just need to start eating into this lead. But Walker, he's been one positive. It's been Selwood, and he's had no help in this first quarter. But for North Melbourne, Gibson's had 14 touches in this first quarter for North Melbourne. Walker's already kicked one from virtually the same spot, in fact. It's a little wobbly, but it's okay. Just squeezed it in. And there's plenty of Cat fans here breathing a sigh of relief. 7-1, 43 North Melbourne to Geelong, 3-1-19. That's on the RACV scoreboard, or 13 RACV for business insurance. With two minutes left in the opening term on the paint away clock, Matthew Lord Cameron Ling. Josh Walker has been a positive for the Cats in this quarter. As you said, Lloyd, he kicked a couple of goals and... As soon as he kicked that goal, he headed straight into the middle to take the centre bounce duty. So he's got a huge workload tonight. He's got a big engine, though. He's probably be... What do they want him to do here in the ruck, do you reckon? Just draw even? Yeah, yeah. somehow yep. let the ball land in about a one-metre radius. Yep. Just don't get the big, dangerous outside ones. Blitzarves is the best runner at Geelong. Joel Selwood's number two. Well, Josh Walker's the number three best runner at Geelong. Really? So he has got a big engine. And here really he goes. Good. He goes up and recovers his own footy. And they've got an entry here again as Caddy. Dynamite to Hawkins. And Hawkins a juggling mark. It wasn't firm. It wasn't secure. 
but he's marked it no further than 35 out on exactly the 45 degree angle this to get it under 20 points uh, Walker's competitiveness there bought upon this shot for goal said but hit outs to advantage what are they? Goldstein's already had seven in a quarter of footy, Lloyd. Yeah. Big effort from him. Yeah. The best of a North Melbourne player is, a best of a Geelong player is Brown with one. This gets it back to 18 points. Respectable. And still a minute and a half on the clock remaining in the first quarter. Hawkins. Got to be inside left goalpost or thereabouts, you would think. Comes in to kick at the city end. He did it magnificently. Absolutely magnificently. And they've kicked two in a row for the first time in the game. And they're within 18 points here. The Cats, who are getting pulverised. 32 minutes gone on the RACB scoreboard. Well, that's what Geelong, uh, North Melbourne didn't want to concede, those late couple of goals to Geelong. But as you said, Lloyd, again, it was that competitiveness of yeah. Josh Walker in the middle caused, caused the ball to spill out. And great kick by Josh Caddy going forward. And Hawkins, well, you just feel now with the start that Geelong have had, he has to have a big night. He has to kick five or six goals if the Cats are going to win this one. Yeah. Seven hit-outs to advantage. Most Ruckman don't get that in one game. And uh, <laughs> seven to one, Goldstein's way, as Seb just touched on. So what he just did there, Walker, just jump in the Goldstein as much as he possibly can. That's what he has to do. No wonder they haven't given up on McIntosh this year yet, the <laughs> Cats. <laughs> Goldstein reaches over Walker, knocks it down to Caddy, who breaks free. Great strength. About to get caught, though. Just gets the handball to Jimmy Bartell. A wobbler high. Hawkins attacks it. Nearly got there and nearly got it on the bounce. And then nearly got a free. And should have got a free. He does get a free. And no, he doesn't. It's against the Cats. It's going to North Melbourne, strangely enough. Scott Thompson free kick. Okay, so Scott Thompson back pocket. So we've got 43 seconds left. North will need to be careful here because the Cats are on a little mini surge as Thompson kicks out wide towards the interchange side of the ground. Lonigan did well against Brown of North Melbourne. Mackey's kick around the corner was nicely timed. Goes over the line out of bounds right in front of the MCC members on the northern side. So an interesting last 30 seconds here. Ball in neutral territory basically. Either side could score from here. North Melbourne with seven first quarter goals. Geelong with four. Walker does the ruck work for North. Knocked it down. Cunnington of North Melbourne got it and banged it forward. But Lonigan marks it half back for the Cats. Maybe not enough time for the Cats to score here, but enough time for a turnover. Half back flank. 15 seconds left. He bangs it to the wing. High. Goldstein lurking. Big fly over the top. Walker couldn't bring it down. Selwood. Okay. Bangs it to half forward. Still a chance to Cats late. Picked up by Caddy. Three seconds left. Center and kick. Hawkins on the siren. They won't win the quarter, the Cats, but with momentum, they're going to go into quarter time with their tails right up. And, Dwayne, it's just showing, if they get it in there enough, Grimer is not good enough or big enough or strong enough for this man, Tom Hawkins. And they've lifted in the last three minutes. Lingy said they can't allow goals. They're going to allow three in three minutes. Four inside 50s in the last five minutes to zero. This is huge for their confidence here with this kick. Got to be left goalpost again, Duano. You caught it last time, BT. You were spot on. He's kicking to the city end. Platform 28 end, if you like, of the MCG. To bring it back to a two-goal margin. It's perfect. Stunning start to this game by North Melbourne. Stunning finish to this quarter by Geelong. Finals football at its best. The margin was out to 30. The Cats have cut it back to 12. 43 to 31 at quarter time. Geelong, 5-1-31. North Melbourne, 7-1-43. Quarter time, 3-R-W is football. Astonishing scoring quarter. 12 goals kicked collectively in that first quarter. 7 to North, 5 to Geelong. And North Melbourne by 12 points at quarter time. Let's hear from uh, Seb Costello. Cameron Ling and Matthew Lloyd. Yeah, well, Duano really painted the picture with that last line, didn't he, BT? The Roos recording their highest scoring opening term of the year. Meanwhile, the Cats coming home in a hurry with five straight inside 50s to end the quarter and kicking three goals in four minutes. Joel Selwood, Lingy, he just willed that final goal and he's had nine disposals, the best of the Cats, and a game-high four clearances. Yeah, been very good again, the skipper. I thought Josh Caddy was really important too late in that quarter. He's had the seven disposals with the three score assists, but it was Tom Hawkins when the ball went forward, Lloyd, and you said it. They don't actually have a good matchup for him. Grimer, when he's caught one out with him, Hawkins is a lot stronger and always looks dangerous there, but Brad's got to be filthy with the way North Melbourne ended that quarter. He would be. They had one foot on the throat, and that's been the problem with North Melbourne for a number of years. They Under Brad Scott, they can't put teams away, and 
contest the possessions is where Geelong must win and win well tonight because North look far too quick on the outside. So Geelong have to be strong in the middle. They've got Caddy and also Selwood in there to start this quarter. Bartel as well. So all the big guns in the middle. The best in the business, Matthew Lloyd and Cameron Ling on 3AW football. Second term underway. Palm down to Duncan. Gives it to Bartel. Hands it back to Blitzarns after his ruck work. Hands it to Barco. Cats are full of running now. Long kick. Brown, front spot. Got a hand on it for the Cats. Knocked it down there to Thompson. Goes to Grimer. Wide kick. Race on. Bouncing ball. Caddy gets there first. Good collect. Good chase. Good pass. Yes. Oh. Mark to Hawkins. Tucked into the pocket. Well played, Josh Caddy. Did you? Did you see that, yeah. Lloydie? <laughs> Who was that? Was that Andrew Swallow was in Tom Hawkins' path? <laughs> and he just he just threw him out of the way and kick said, ar- I'm still going to mark this and have a shot at goal. He's going to kick around the corner to run it. He is. The Cats have been 30 down. They're about to be a goal down. No, he sprays it across the face. Was 30 the biggest margin, Seb, or 31? You can correct me if I'm wrong. They got out to 30, 30 points at the 27-minute mark. Okay. Oh. 50 seconds gone. Second term brought to you by Focus on Furniture for Azito, Dr. Peter Larkins. Uh, yeah, Chris Scott. Uh, uh, Chris Scott was pretty emotional at the end of that quarter, and uh, I'll, I'll let you get on with it. Greenwood at half back here, uh, a little caught up in the emotion of his beloved cats here. The, the doc, go on, doc, take it away. No, I was just saying he rode home that uh, Tom Hawkins goal like he was a teammate on the side. And was very excited, unlike Brad Scottersling. He was talking about Jared Rivers still carrying the left medial ligament problem. Was off for the last few minutes, Brian limping around, and Holland Smith being checked for double vision as well. Okay, so plenty of action out there for our great mates at Azito. Doc got it all covered down there at ground level. Will the others wander around and try and work out which venue they're at? And don't forget, Doc got it right with Alan Christensen yes. pre-game as out well. for Big the rest news. of the year. Yep. Yep. And just while we've got time, that last kick from Hawkins was a shocker. He's on his right side, so a good, the perfect spot for a right footer. He snaps it from 35 out. That should have been a drop punt. Should have kicked that one. Yeah, I thought he had plenty of face to work with as well. Yeah. Zeebel around the corner. As doesn't, he should have a lot of confidence in the drop punt. He's been kicking yeah. it well tonight. Here's Harry Taylor at halfback. Beautiful paddle ball. Got it out there to Bartell. Bartell, a bit of a long handball over the top looking for Motlop. Didn't go hard at the footy like he should have. Lindsay Thomas did. He didn't win the footy. Fumbled at the crucial moment through the legs of Caddy, who really gave them something in the latter parts of that first quarter. Kelly got tackled high. Umpire said play on. Bartell or Mackey it was, handball went to Barco. Uh, he was uh, immediately sat upon by Lindsay Thomas and Thomas applied the tackle at centre half back for North Melbourne. Such an important quarter this for North Melbourne. They've only won one out of their last ten second quarters this year so they need to make sure they have a big one but free kick now. Selwood trucks it high again, perfect work. Oh he's Ooh, choking yeah. him. Selwood had him in the choke. He had him in the Brian Lake choke. <laughs> he plays on quickly. Hands it off to Duncan. 50 from goal. Knocks it on to Barco. Knocks it to Murdoch. Tries a little flick on. Stolen by Del Sando. He go north. Del Sando to Harvey, to Zeebel, to Greenwood. All this at half back. Looks up. Open space ahead. Big Ben Brown lurking on 50. He's there for the long pass. He's still there. Chance for the short pass though. Greenwood goes short to Del Santo. And Del Santo has it forward of the wing for North. Slows it down while Selwood argues the point behind play. Here's Ben Brown. Offers the lead and Mark 75 out from goal. And surprise, surprise, BT. Blood Joel roll. Selwood's got his eye split open. Yep. Blood. And so I think is. Selwood's telling the umpire, well, this is why I had to push him away. And he's just going to take his time and walk from the field here, Joel Selwood. He's on the far side of the ground. Won't be long before the umpire says, come on, mate. Get a skip up because they can't start the game with the Ben Brown kick until Selwood's replacement is in the position that he wants to be in. So this will take some time. So scores are 43 to 32. North Melbourne in front. Ben I reckon Brown. Harvey got him. I reckon Boomer got him. But it looked accidental. Watching the Wiki Carbo replay, Dwayne, looked like there was nothing. No, there wasn't anything. In it. In it. Yeah. yeah, you're right. But I think it was. Uh, yeah. They were tangling and uh, Selwood came off. Selwood's motioning to the bench as if he got an elbow to the head and he's going straight down the race and Boomer's just checking the back of his head at the moment right. so there you go Ben Brown goes long and deep Rivers advances over the top and takes a nice defensive mark Lano yeah good grab Cats have lifted their rate and the scoreboard will tell you that even though they're behind still Geelong 5-2 North 7-1 long kick Blitzars middle of the ground and a great push off on Goldstein plays on Hamble to Walker was superb oh. and then Walker fumbled it dropped it at his feet 30 from goal, still hunts it down, almost gives a free kick away in frustration. Brown for the Cats, gave to Walker, kick half smothered, all this 20 from the Cats goal, great hassling, Hall and Smith now on, he got one to the ear, umpire said no, not paying it, pack forms, 
ball rolls out, comes toward Enright, lurking inside 50, flicks it up to Brown for the Cats, pushed in the back a little, a pass hit played for it, Wells bangs it to the midfield, all the way from fullback to the centre of the ground, and Harvey's away. Through the middle of the ground, took a bounce, 91 player between here and the goal, second bounce, inside 50, 40, 30, right foot tick around the corner, it's good to Brown, Brown handball to Petrie, Petrie left foot snap goal, exhilarating play from the Roos. Sensational team football to kick goal number eight. Eight one forty nine to Geelong five two thirty two and Petrie has three. Oh wow, that was a brilliant passage of play by North Melbourne. Brent Harvey, he is lightning quick, and I know he was running and bouncing the ball, so you're never quite as quick as when you're chasing. But Harry Taylor made amazing ground on him there, Lloyd. He shows how quick Harry Taylor is, but just the unselfishness of Brent Harvey. I know he's copped it over the years for being a bit selfish to be able to dish that one off and a good team goal by North Melbourne. That was and uh, well done Ben Brown handballing it over the top but I thought Geelong had had the best of this first five minutes. It couldn't score North go down, score with their first attempt. From the ball up, Goldstein knocks it down. Caddy lays a tackle but it's pushed in the back to Wells in fact it was Guthrie that laid the tackle so Wells in the middle centre circle looks up and he gets under it a lot Big Brown about to fly, got hands to it, no. Big Lonergan got this fist there first, knocked it down to Stokes. Cats at half back, Stokes kicks to the middle of the ground. McMillan got a knock on it, just knocked it down towards Grimer. Motlop, Grimer, both go for it with their toe. McMillan picks it up in the end, hands to McDonald, and North have got their mojo back. Heads long, Petrie dives and he marks it half forward, too far out to score. He is, he wheeled around on the right, he thought about the short one inside. He's between wing and half forward, really, so a long way from goal. Here's the lead now to Black, and Black marks comfortably on the chest, but he's still 65 metres out, Black on the boundary line. He'll pop it to the top of the square with a long foot. He does just that. High ball, Lindsay Thomas, and up goes, taking the nice mark, Lonigan. And Lonigan defensively on the top of the square. A beautiful goal-saving mark. So 49 plays, 32, North Melbourne's way. What a cracking game of attacking footy we're seeing. Yeah, it's the focus on furniture scoreboard as a kick heads toward half-back. The Cats have got it. Duncan flicks the handball up. Nicely measured. Although Mackie just knocked off it. He played for the free there, Mac, and he didn't get it. And Thurlow mops up that little mess. Goes to pick it up. Centre half-back. Gets bent high. Umpires put the whistle away here a little. Oh, I love it, Dwayne Oak. Okay. Just letting it go. These, these two teams are just going hell for leather. Let them play. So we're back on, boys. So focus on furniture scoreboard. By the way, focus on furniture. Four years interest free sale now on 49 to 32 North Melbourne lead. Get a piece of that at any focus on furniture store. Handball out of the middle was not so good. Went straight to Gibson of North Melbourne. Here comes Brown. He went up. Couldn't take the mark. Fell on his head. Got to have hurt her himself. That's a soccer off the ground. I think by Thomas and it misses to the left. So 50 plays 32. 18 point margin it is here now. Selwood alright Doc. Uh, he's come back on Azito. Yeah, he's uh, having a fair bit to say to the emergency umpire about uh, how he got split in the eye, though, Brian. He's back on. It will nice be interesting work. to see the uh, no wiki carbone replay of that. Selwood wanting a free, nothing on, so Caddy had to go and get it. Gave it to Selwood. Selwood to Taylor. Taylor with a handball to Enright. He squeezes the trigger and goes up the wing with a short kick to Hawkins. And Hawkins takes it on the mark. He's holding a few now, which is good news. Little kick over the top to Caddy. He's on the wing, and he's corralled, and he's hemmed in. He's tucked up against the boundary. Goes inboard to Selwood, head strapped. Gets one back on Swallow, who mans the mark. Right on the wing. The booze for Selwood. The booze for Selwood? Oh, I don't think you can boo that man, surely. Well, I'm trying to work out why they would be. Short to end, right? Too hard and too good, Dwayne. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> That's all it could be. Yep. Now, Enright about to put the Cats inside 50. Goes long. Mitch Brown up. One-handed, though, unfortunately. Did it again. Now, Kane Turner played for a free. He was tackled and he threw the head back and the umpire was wise to it and will get a ball up one metre inside the Cats attacking 50. 32 to 50. North Melbourne lead. Nine minutes gone, second term. Goldstein, nice little tap down. Zeeble couldn't get on the end of it. Bartel did. They're claiming it was touched here. North Melbourne, and it was. Right on the line by a desperate diving Luke McDonald in the end. And then a minor score only. So 33 plays 50, 17 point margin. Nine and a half ticked over on the paint away clock. Get, Set. get pain away if you want the pain to go away. Seb, for blaming Saunders here, Josh Caddy been very good. How many contested possessions for him? Eight contested, Lingy. Guthrie applying pressure here on Gibson. And 
forcing the turnover. Gibson being good in this game, but Guthrie locks it in yeah. the forward end of the ground. 15. Yeah, 15 for Gibson, but what they're doing well here, Geelong, they haven't got it on the scoreboard, but they've stopped the run of North Melbourne. It's become more of an in tight game, which will suit Geelong. Goldstein front spot, Blitzars from behind. They've knocked it forward. 55 from the Cats goal. Silwood caught, tackled, no prior ball up. What about for Stevie Motlop, Seb, for Blamey Saunders here? He's been quiet again tonight. Yeah, four disposals, Lingy, yet to hit the scoreboard. Yeah, needs to lift. Gibson kicks to the wing. Petrie half-man handled by Harry Taylor, but he did well. Lonergan gets on the end of it. Handball just finds its way to Varco. He's bumped on the kick. Poor kick. Picked up by Black. Gives it to Petrie, middle of the ground. Back to Black. Shrugs the tackle. Flicks it to Del Sando. Caught by Selwood. Dragged down. Just got a boot on the ball. Mobbing it up, Lonergan. Caught. Throws it away. Petrie bangs it to full forward. Ben Brown. Clean ball by it. Ball through for a behind. Gee, it's a good contest. Eight goals, three, 51 North Melbourne, Geelong, 5-3, 33, 11 gone, second term, brought to you by Focus on Furniture. Oh, oh. mid smother here by Wells on the Guthrie kick, right foot snap around the body, Harry Taylor in their goal square to save the day. She was a bad blue from the little kick, Harry Taylor's little kick sideways to the back pocket, finds Rivers. Rivers goes back whence it came, and now they're on fire here. The Cats, they can go up the middle, and they decide to do that. Long-looking footy out towards centre wing. Walker was there, almost paid the mark. Zebel had a piece of him. Handball comes out wide now to Petrie. Petrie goes from half-back to centre-half-back. Finds right with a little bit of time and space. A ripping kick to Ben Rab- oh, Brown. He took a hands. lovely uh, catch in the midst. Now he goes forward to Thomas and takes a nice mark as well on the lead. Uh, Thomas directly in front. You know, it's a matchup that North uh, Geelong just can't get right. James Kelly, I don't think, is quick enough for Lindsay Thomas. I don't think Mackey is either. He just likes to sit off. That time, Harry Taylor was actually on the lead. But well done, Ben Brown. You called it, Lingy. That is the hardest mark to take in footy. Hit the ball at 100 miles an hour with Thurlow on his back, and he still took it and sets up this chance for Thomas. Looking for his fourth goal, Thomas, directly in front. City end, 45 metres out. Lindsay Thomas... Had three goals in eight minutes in the opening quarter. Here he is looking for his fourth. From directly in front, City end. Not a lot of win here tonight. The flags in a rather benign position. Thomas goes low and lets it sloppy out to the left. It was a lazy, lethargic sort of a kick and a minor score only. So 52 plays 33 in favour of the Roos in this focus on furniture second quarter. Quick kick into Varco. By the way, focus on furniture. Four years interest-free sale now on. Short sure pass to Modlop from Varco. Modlop on defensive 50. Having to hunt a long way down the ground to try and find some footy, Motlop, and get himself into the game. That's not where they want it. him winning the footy. High bomb towards Hawkins on the wing, and he almost marked that, Hawkins. Then he almost got caught high, and now it's almost holding the ball. But we'll get a ball up on the wing. He didn't have prior, but he did take them on for a split second, ball up on the wing MCC members side Cats kicking to the punt road end in this second term which is now 13 minutes old oh. Walker just launched himself into the back of Goldstein and gets Goldstein a free and uh, the umpire just uh, giving him a little warning there Walker Goldstein, handball around the corner of Del Santo a rather iffy handball from Del Santo worked out alright for McDonald in the end he's got a lovely left boot, that one hasn't got the length on it though, it's marked here by Brown Brown of Geelong takes the mark Little kick out wide here to gentleman James Kelly on the uh, AFL logo right out there on Southern Stand Centre Wing. Beautiful kick to Duncan. Atley with him all the way, punts it to the boundary. Within 60 metres of Geelong's punt road goal here. They trail 33-52. We've got a boundary throw in on the far southern flank. Umpire will throw it back into play. Brown of North Melbourne against Walker of Geelong. Walker one out, went straight to uh, Cunnington, over to Gibson, now to Brown of North Melbourne. He's left side of the body, not so good, struggled to kick it and gained some meterage to Petrie and it's almost off the shin of Petrie. We'll have a boundary throw in centre wing. Oh, Benny Brown's been terrific, but I reckon when he's got a couple of runners next to him, uh, he doesn't need to be trying to hit someone on the left foot, lace out. I reckon you just give that one off. You've got to know your limitations. So ben Brown and Josh Walker do the ruck work. Brown... First knock, Walker the second knock. Down towards Wells, though. Threw legs with a handball. Didn't quite find a target. Swallow made it his, though. Gave it to Cunningham. Gives it to Gibson. Goes backwards. Goes to Wright. In some trouble, though. Wright goes back towards Scott Thompson. Has to flick it wide. Under it, Selwood. Used his body brilliantly on the young McDonald. And Selwood won it out of play. And will get a ball in just the cat side. 
of the Southern Stand Wing. 5-3 to 8-4. North Melbourne lead 15 gone second term. Brought to you by Focus on Furniture. Once again, Walker and Brown, the two Ruckman. This time Brown of North Melbourne brings it forward. And the pack forms. Del Sano's got it immediately tackled by Caddy in front of the ground. And I think we'll have to ball it up again. Now the umpire's plucked out a free. It'll go the way of North Melbourne against Caddy. And it'll go to Del Sano. The smooth moving, fluoro booted Del Sano goes short and finds Gibson. I he takes the mark at half back. I don't like that as a free kick. It's just part of a tackle. He might have ended up in his back, but I reckon you let them go. Cunnington in the middle of the ground took a nice mark. Undecided what to do. Gave it back here now to Gibson. Driving ball inside 50. The dangerous Thomas lurking. Lonigan went high and landed heavily. Now it spills to Duncan. Lonigan getting back to his feet. Sees Bartel with some space out on the southern stand centre wing. Bartel's got space, but he hasn't got a lot of options to kick to. He sees Hawkins one-on-one. He puts a mongrel in his direction. Thompson gets there first. Takes on Big Tomahawk. Turn circle of the Oriana there. <laughs> Couldn't quite chase him down. Scott Thompson goes back to right. Pumps a long ball outside 50. Brown, Mitch Brown. That's a free kick. Down off field. the player, downfield. Gee, the Cats had that too. Mitch Brown was about to mark that. Yeah, you're right, Dwayne. O. Downfield against Steve Motlop. Just didn't need to do it. And Frito gets the free. It's one of those that you think, well, it's at full back. What's 50 matter here? I'll just make him earn his kick. And it comes unstuck. Greenwood's got it. Half-back flank. Short pass. And Payne Turner marks it on the wing for North Melbourne. They've certainly stopped the bleeding along, haven't they? Yep. They have. Both teams, their goals have dried up yep. compared to that first quarter. 12 goals in the first. Just one in this first 16 minutes. Really marginalised the game and brought it down to a nil-all draw here in the second quarter, basically. What's the stat sheet saying about this quarter, Seb? Well, you're mentioning how North Melbourne aren't actually seeing much reward, but they are dominating oh, on the stat oh, sheet. Great right kick from Mackie to Bartel. Bartel takes the mark. Short ball finds Motlop. Motlop takes the mark within range. He'll kick for goal here. Oh. Now he goes for the lead. Looking there for Guthrie. Over the back. Has trouble controlling the footy. Guthrie spun into the Grimer tackle. It's a bear-hugging Nathan Grimer tackle. And spills loose to Ferrito. He soccers off the ground. North under extreme pressure. Here they come again, the Cats. This time it's in right. Little right foot kick out wide. And he'll find an opportunity with Rivers. And Rivers marks within 40 near the boundary line. So Jared Rivers... Five metres inside the boundary line. Southern stand pocket, punt road end. Hasn't kicked the goal for Geelong. So uh, it's a tough one. I've seen him kick a few for Melbourne, but uh, yet to kick a goal this year, Jared Rivers. In his 22 games, no goals. Rivers, long way out as well. He'll kick it from 45. On his way in here. Kick on the way. He's given it a chance with the left to right. He's given it a real good chance. Just misses. Another minor score. So 34 plays 52 on the focus on furniture scoreboard in favour of the Roos. Good kick. Took a little bit of post on the way through. And right goes to the pocket from the kick in short. Scott Thompson short. Dal Sando. Still inside defensive 50. And now Dal Sando, the delivery man. Chance to deliver wide to Gibson. He gets another touch. How many for Blamey Saunders here for Gibson, Seb? 22 coming up, Dwayne O. Okay, they're not they're letting him get it. He goes back to right, runs the defensive goal square, hands it over the top to Thompson, free kick off the ball. And how's the umpire going to see this? It's going all the way to North Melbourne at centre half back, 50 metres from where the ball was. It's by the looks of, of things. Yeah, it's a, he's a bit of a hothead caddy. He's got to be careful, gave away another one there. And so well, short passes back to Gibson, who's going to get another one. Hands to Del Santo, kicks inside 50, blitz halves, winner, big fist, Ben Brown misses. Big double bait spread in both papers. Hasn't quite been able to get on the score sheet just yet, Ben Brown, but he's looking dangerous. 8 5 53 North Melbourne, Geelong 5 4 34. Almost into time on second term, brought to you by Focus on Furniture. He is looking dangerous, big Benny Brown. Yeah. How many has he had? I mean, I know the touches for a forward aren't as important as the midfielders. Seven disposals, BT, okay. but three marks. They've yeah, been all right. Knocked down here, Selwood. Backward of centre circle, gave it to Stokes. Stokes back to Selwood with a handball. Selwood with an inching kick to Hawkins on the lead. He marks 75 from goal. Motlop might come at him along the boundary line. He does. That's where it goes. Motlop will mark. Right at the 48 metre mark. Right where it intersects the boundary line there. So he is further out than Rivers and on a more acute angle. But he's much more talented in front of goal. (laughs) That's where North Melbourne, when they've got their opportunities, need to finish it off. 
Ben Brown maybe could have given the little handball, made a certainty of that goal. Geelong go down the other end of the ground, get a shot. And Stevie Motlop, he's every chance to kick this away. How good he is in front of goal. From 50 out on the boundary line, Motlop got it working left to right. That's a great kick right to the goal line and touched right on the line by Big Goldstein. So another minor score, 5-5-35, North 8-5-53 focus on furniture scoreboard. So still goalless in this term, the Cats. 5-5 now. They started the term 5-1 and we've played 20 minutes, so 20 minutes without a goal for Geelong. Dal Cerno, the kick in. Stokes could get this and Greenwood flies oh, and he beats Stokes mark. and Enright. Hands it off to McMillan and now the Kangaroos full of run. Hands it off to Siebel. Looks in board. Got some runners. He goes to kick instead. Gets it to Petrie. Did he mark it? Umpire says, Yes! Well, he looked to pluck it off some grass. Umpire said, no, I'm paying it. So Petrie just outside 50. I reckon he got it, Twano. Okay. No wicket carbone. That might have been one of those ones that the slip fielders uh, claimed, that maybe a bit of grass, bit of fingertips on the no wicket carbone. Oh, yeah, a lot of grass on that. (laughs) A lot of grass. There's a divot. You have to get the sand bucket out and replace the divot for that one. Uh, you'd still claim that if you're in first slip, though, Dwayne. Yeah, if you're a cheat, yeah, only if you're a cheat, <laughs> dirty, rotten, stinking cheat. Long kick from Petrie, which footballers aren't, of course. A lot of cricketers that uh, claim it, but footballers wouldn't dare. And 21 minutes gone, second term. Geelong 5, 5, 35, 8, 6, 54. Should that in football be a ball up then? If they see it on the big screen, hits the grass, ball it up. You can't go to the video for that kind of thing though, can you? Just thought, so. it was at the end of a game, you'd hate to see that paid when it's not there. You would, but I guess we can't cover everything. Mackey's kicked back into play to Hawkins. Grimer did really well. Grimer, the man that installs artificial turf. Off hands, it comes to Harvey. Left foot snap, Boomer Harvey's got a goal! Harvey kicks it. He joins the goal fest at the MCG that North Melbourne are having. The only two goals for the second quarter. 9-6-60 to Geelong, 5-5-35. A lot of boos for Boomer. For Boomer. Ah, is it? I'm assuming they're not boos. You couldn't boo the champ, Boomer Harvey. But you're right, BT. Great call when you said Nathan Grimer there. That was an important marking contest. I think it was Andrew Mackey kicked in long from fullback straight down the middle. Hawkins, you thought, was going to win that one-on-one marking contest, and Geelong were going to be out and open. Grimer won it, kicked it back in, and Boomer Harvey, as he's done for his incredibly long and illustrious career, 383 games, robed it beautifully and kicked another goal. So the Cats again in some trouble. Ball up in the middle, and the Roos get the clearance. The half-forward, thump clear, bouncing ball, and Stokes gets their half-back, but he goes backwards, first option. Looks up, now he goes middle, Mitch Brown up. Good grab. He can play onto advantage. He's got Duncan running for him. Puts it in front of Duncan who can get and go. Southern stand wing. Who does he want? Looks up and he wants the tomahawk. Grimer's with Hawkins. Can't get near it. And Motlop marks. Forward pocket. Plays on centre and kick. Walker! Well, if they paid Petrie, they're probably going to have to pay Walker. They have. The same umpire's paid it. Gee, I reckon it'll be reversed here. I reckon it'll be reversed. Geelong player come in rather firmly. And pushed a North Melbourne player off the footy. Very lucky. Yeah, and a little bit of elbow drop there from uh, one of the North Melbourne gentlemen. Not a lot in it, but enough. I reckon the... Oh, yeah. Oh. Ferrito. Yeah. Ferrito, yeah. and it was Tom this Hawkins. Is, what a big return this is, though, Walker. I was just looking at their stat sheet, and the goal kickers, just three goal kickers, two to Walker, two to Hawkins, one to Duncan. If this man can kick four... They wouldn't have expected that. It's a huge win for Geelong. So he's marked at 30 out, but on a tough angle, 45-degree angle, and he kicks a behind, I think. Yep. He has. So 5-6-36 plays 9-6-60. That's the score, 24 gone, second term, two minutes to travel to half time. Yep. So 24-point margin that adds up to in favour of the Roos. Yet to kick a goal in this second quarter, Geelong. Kick goes long towards Rivers. Zebel there as well. Off hands to Del Santo. Zebel was good to Del Santo. He's wrong footed on his right toe, but he did well to get around the corner. Black was interfered with unnecessarily by Enright. And Black of North Melbourne has the free kick. Just short of the wing on the northern side in front of the interchange area. Black goes backwards. Dangerously to Grimer. He marks right on the defensive 50, Grimer. 
He turns sideways and Geelong player forces him to kick down the line. That was Murdoch. It's a good looking ball. Goldstein got a hand on it, couldn't win it. Cunnington got the ground level ball. Ran into Kelly and then rebounded off him into Lonigan. And he took him on. And this will be a Lonigan free kick at half back. Dying seconds. Second term. Lonigan the half back flank. We've got a minute left. Goes dangerously inboard. Mackey goes down on one knee and takes the mark. Still at half back flank. Plays on through the middle. Cats goal is in this term. Caddy's at half foot. Bartell fourth man up. Knocks it down to Mitch Brown. Gives it to Caddy. Flicks a little handle backwards. Looking for Hall and Smith. Tunneled by Kane Turner. His legs out. No free. Umpire stopped paying that again. Picked up by Swallow. Centre half back. Man handled. Kane Turner gets a handball out. But straight to Caddy. He gets a throw away. Goldstein bangs a high ball out on the wing. Petrie gets there. Goes to ground though. Ball bounced unkindly for Harry T. Gave it to Enright. Gave it to Duncan. Grab didn't really have it. Up past his play on and a big hip and shoulder by Hall and Smith on Siebel. Sees the ball out of play on the wing with 30 seconds left. 60 plays, 36 North Melbourne lead. They've kicked the only two goals of this term. Gee, this is a good game of footy. Both these teams, every single player is going for everything at the moment. I'm really enjoying it. 24 point margin here at the moment in favour of the Roos. Geelong from the stoppage win it. Little handball through the middle to Selwood. Selwood's found an open Mackey. Mackey marks at centre half forward. Right on the edge of the centre square. 55 metres out Mackey. Kicks it long to the top of the square. Motlop's at the back. Walker's there. Motlop flew one hand. Couldn't hold the mark. Walker had a crack as well. And now a little poke out there by Grimer. Four seconds left. There'll be no further score added here. Unless there's a monumental mistake. And there is not. An enthralling semi-final of football here. Oh, it's, it's on. on. It's at on. the MCG. And a little bit of push and shoves with Selwood. Selwood will just go and find out what happened. With the cut iron, Petrie gives him a little jab to the uh, Bristol area. <laughs> and players <laughs> simmering here. And you can feel the tension. About 15 umpires in lime green surrounding both teams. Tom Hawkins gets dragged out of the way. The Mexican Ferrito's looking after him. And Big Drew gave him a little round arm to the guts as well. And there's a little bit going on here at the moment. Oh, this is great, VT. <laughs> it is. North Melbourne lead at half time. 9-6-60 to Geelong, 5-6-36. And it's half time here for Story King at the MCG. The Cats trail North Melbourne by 24 points. BT's in the house, ready to fire up for the second half. BT, uh, plenty coming up in the next couple of weeks as well around yeah, look, the world. A great mate of the media here, Stephen Phillips, uh, who was around uh, in the 80s, uh, 70s and 80s and uh, early 90s as well, and has been an MC uh, in recent time as well, does a lot of work for the Collingwood Football Club. There's a benefit lunch uh, for Stephen Phillips. I believe he's got some sort of brain tumour at the moment, fighting cancer. Um, Eddie Maguire is going to be hosting it. Sam Newman will be part of it. Mike Sheen will be part of it. Um, so uh, Tony Jewell will be there as well. It's the 23rd of October, noon till tw- uh, noon start. It's at um, Reaver and Marine Parade there, and uh, you can get all of your tickets through the events department at the Collingwood Football Club. So just go to the Collingwood Football Club events department on the web, and you'll get all of your uh, details there regarding the Stephen Phillips benefit. So a lot of Melbourne's media will be there as well. Media were piling through the uh, audio during halftime. Here's a little bit of Joel Selwood to the emergency umpire on the hit with Harvey. No, he's probably went to the ground to get up. Straight off. Boomer gave him a whack on the head, uh, said Joel Short. We're just watching the No Wiki Carbone replay there, BT. It was Boomer Harvey blocking his run, and I reckon uh, reckon a head clash between Harvey and also Joel Selwood caused the blood there. Toyota grand final ticket ticket giveaway at gate number three as well. Toyota donating a heap of grand final tickets thanks to the local Toyota dealers of Victoria and Australia. And all you've got to do is get to gate three on grand final day to the 3RW outside broadcast and you are in the running to win some magnificent tickets to the grand final. Just come with the Toyota emblem somewhere on you. Yep, dress up like a Hilux, whatever you can. Tickets will be yours. Second half underway here at the MCG. Third term brought to you by Ray White. They've got the know-how. And we're underway with Atley getting a handball back. Tried to get it to McDonald. Thrown out of it by Murdoch. Picked up by Swallow. Gave it up towards Zebel. High kick midfield. And Enright attacks it nicely. And takes the mark for the Cats. A trail by 24. Heads wide. Coming up to it. Caddy. 60 from goal. The lead's come. He ignores a couple of them. He's about to pump it to the goal square. Puts it up high. Hawkins is there. Walker's at the back. Ball clean. Bowls a couple and rolls through. 
for a behind. 23 points the margin. Are the Cats gone, Lordy? I think they're in big trouble, Dwayne. I think North should extend this lead in the second half. They need to keep playing, though, don't they, Lloydie? They cannot play safe. They need to make sure they win this game and keep taking it up to Geelong. Good crowd here tonight. I reckon somewhere in the 60, 64, 65,000, 64,500, I reckon, somewhere around that. Give you that. Swallow at half back. Little kick uh, comes down here towards Petrie. Makes good grounds. Gets rid of Taylor with a bit of a push. And he couldn't control the ball in the air. It's still on ground level. It comes to Del Sano. He was looking for someone. Found Boomer Harvey. He bangs it onto the right boot. Not the best kick, but got it into a dangerous spot. Mackey's attack from behind with a ferocious tackle. Ball spills loose. Thomas tried to go with it. Umpire Troy Pennell will ball it up in front of North's goal, 30 metres out. Dr. Bidlark, it's for a Zito. Yeah, interesting the crowd reaction. North much more loud with the fans when they appeared on the ground. Aaron Black's been off the ground so far this quarter, getting a lot of work on his uh, glute and hamstring. Selwood got on the end of the palm down, but kicks it outside, he, 50 straight to McDonald. He nearly snapped for goal then, Selwood. <laughs> I reckon really? he thought he was going that way. To oh, the that would have been in. bizarre. Free kick here to the Cats. He's Murdoch's set. got it. He pulled it back just at the last minute. <laughs> I agree with that. <laughs> oh, oh. I saw that too, BT. Yeah. I think this is one of the guys that, if there any chance, Murdoch... Motlop, they're the two players that need to get the run and carry going. Hawkins could grab half forward flank a long, long way from home, about 90 out as he backtracks to the wing. Here's PT on 3 W footy. Kicks it low and not so hard. It was a pretty ordinary kick to Mitch Brown on the lead. In the end, Ferrito got it. He was slung in the tackle but had the awareness to handball towards the boundary line. Hawkins kept it alive just. Grimer went and picked it up when no one else wanted to. Now Grimer goes with a low skimming drop punt along the ground. On southern stand wing, Harry Taylor happy to concede to the boundary there and it's now at half forward for the Ruse. Hey, Lingy, can they afford it all to throw Harry forward? Or you think because of Petrie and Brown they can't? I reckon they, they've got to back yeah. Harry Taylor into play solid in defence yeah. because otherwise North score too much. Yeah. I reckon they'll pinch hit with him, maybe just a seven or eight minute block, sneak him down at some stage. Knocked down over the back here comes North Melbourne's way. Cunnington threw some traffic, sold a bit of hand candy. Back to Ferrito. He drives a long kick to Ben Brown. He was being held from behind by Lonigan. No free kick. Kelly deliberately over the boundary line. Umpire said throw it. In. Just letting everything go here today, the umpires. And perhaps a good defensive ploy there by Lonigan. Yeah, almost a three in mind. Oh, would almost have paid that to Ben Brown. Ball back into play. 40 from North Melbourne's goal. Flick back, nearly worked. Harvey lurking. He's on 50. He plays to the free. He doesn't get it. Dow Sano picks it up, gives it to right. 60 from goal. Post it to the pocket. Wide ball. Kane Turner can't keep it alive. How's get Bo- another ball in. How's Boomer gone, do you reckon? He's just been solid. I think he's been uh, important for them. Hasn't had a heap of the footy, but you just know that he's dangerous. He might just finish with one or two quick little snap goals. That could be the difference. Camera showing Stevie Johnson watching the game with Gary Ablett Jr. in the private box. Splits ass, tries to break free. Did he have prior? Yes, he did. Ball. Holding the ball. Goldstein to have a shot from about 40 out. 45 degree angle. Big Goldie. Cats have not kicked a goal since the opening term. They were goalless in the second. North Melbourne kicked two goals in the second, and they're about to have the first shot of the third. Yeah, had a prior opportunity there, Blixars, but no free Geelong players. Like the Enright one early in the game, just panicked there, had nothing, and what a big blow this would be if Goldstein can kick the first, stretch it out to a five-goal margin. It's going to be nearly impossible to get back. So Goldstein, 45-degree angle, and it's horrible. It's the kind of kick you'd expect from a big <laughs> ruckman. 9-7 to 5-7. Four goal margin, four minutes gone. Third term brought to you by Ray White. They were in at 3RW, the good crew at Ray White Real Estate during the week. Great to see them. Yeah, it was indeed. Spent a bit of time in the media area at half time as Joel Selwood takes a wonderful wrestling mark and Gee, most of them thinking that Geelong were probably gone at this stage. Bartell into the middle. A chiseler to Blitzarts. Couldn't get down low enough to mark it. Now Gibson tidies up for North. Got the little handball to Greenwood. Back to Gibson. Continued to run. Gibson been a mighty game. Kicks short and finds McDonald. McDonald of North Melbourne marks on the southern stand wing. Wheels back inside on his left boot. Drives it long. Petrie went for the block. Up went Selwood. Cunnington went with him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Mackey went in hard. Unlucky not to get a free. Or was it Bartell? Bartell. It was Bartell. And James Bartell has won the free in the back half. It was this time last year. Paul Chapman in this corresponding final won the game for Geelong. They need someone to be the breakout player in this third quarter. Bartell short to end right. Goldstein put some pressure on. You're unaware, Lindsay Thomas has got three. Drew Petrie's got three. Lindsay Thomas kicked all his three 
in the opening term. And then right's at half back and he floats one wide, hoping for and finding Rivers on the wing. Southern stand side, 61 to 37, North Melbourne lead. Big launch forward. Mitch Brown down there, Walker's down there, off hands Motlop. And stripped of it by Wells. Knocked it to ground. Ferrito plays for a high one. Nearly got it. Del Santa gets the crumb. Gives it off. Barco lays a tackle nicely on Thompson. Hamble finds Duncan. Chip kick Duncan okay to Stokes. 45 from goal. Caught. Hamble to Barco. Caught. It's a little handball pass. Duncan untidy from the Cats. Looks up. No handball options. Short pass. Way too wide. Hall and Smith gives it up. Caddy, 50 from goal, sidesteps one, sidesteps another, gets a floater, full forward, too wide, out of play. Hawkins can't keep it alive. And we'll get a ball in forward pocket for the Cats. I said, is there a stat for inside, how many inside 50s have gone without scoring a goal? Because they didn't score one in the second quarter. So. Well, they've had 25 entries, the Cats, Lloydie, and they've scored five goals. Last goal was 34-minute mark yeah. of the first quarter. They're 24 points down, so they're still within striking range. Make no mistake. Two quick goals, and they're back in it, and they've got it within 20 metres of their city end goal. And here's Hawkins trying to force his way through. Had a shot of goal, but smothered off the boot. Hawkins went back and got it again. They're piling on the tackle. The Cats on the pressure here. Duncan's got it out wide. He was tackled. Del Sando, a wonderful little kick up to himself, but he's kicked it straight to Harry Taylor at half forward. Taylor. Short little one to Bartell. He marks inside the centre square. 55 metres out, Bartell. Now he goes long and deep. Here they go again. Murdoch's up. Up they fly. No winner in the air. Off hands it comes. Goldstein did wonderfully well. And now Gibson lets it go. And a boundary throw in deep for Geelong. Every North Melbourne player within a kick of the ball. 13 entries in a row without a goal for the Cats. And they're pressing Geelong. Their pressure's been very good. They're pumping the ball back inside. You just feel... Sheer weight of numbers means they'll score here. So congestion inside 50. Blitzars and Goldstein. Ball hits the deck. Motlop goes off the deck and horrible option. Kicked it off the carpet. Out of bounds on the full. And North Melbourne will get the relieving kick from the back pocket. Short pass is okay from the boot of Gibson to Dal Santo. Still in the back pocket though. Just travelled the required 15. Dal Santo kicks toward Ben Brown, high kick, he can't get to it, Blitzhouse does, off hands Wells, he goes north into space Wells off the Cunnington shrugs Mackey with ease, pushed him away, pops a little kick midfield okay it works, McDonald runs the centre square long kick, Lindsay Thomas ball to the back, Black, hardly seen it all night, runs in open goal Injured player, Lindsay Thomas, I reckon it is right so Lindsay Thomas down, bittersweet pitches here for North Melbourne fans. They're out to a 30-point margin, 37 to 67, but Lindsay Thomas in the hands of trainers or is he faking it? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think he's faking that one there. He's OK. He isn't? won't come off. No, no. Just watching the no-wiki carbone replay, just a marking contest from Thomas. Copped the knock, landed heavily. Over the back to Aaron Black. So important that North Melbourne, despite all Geelong's attacking there, were able to go down the other end of the ground, Lordy, and kick yeah. the goal. This third quarter is exactly how the second quarter was. Geelong had so much of the play, just couldn't score. At the moment, it's Hawkins or nothing, really. And uh, no one else looks like it. They've now sent Caddy to full forward to try and pinch a goal somewhere. Lindsay Thomas eventually comes off the ground. He was squinting in pain as he came off, but no one gave two hoots. No one went to him. <laughs> no one said a word. They all just said, get over it, Lindsay. And stop sucking it up. Thurlow, Rivers combine here. Handball comes back to Enright. He can go straight up the middle of the ground. Del Sano guards the outside of the ground. That's where it eventually went to uh, Mackey. Mackey turns around, brings it back inside. Bumping kick forward. Caddy got under the footy too early. Ferrito there or four was able to get the punch away. Geelong go inside 50 once again. It spills out wide to Bartel. He goes down low, kept it rolling, did really well to Lonigan. Lonigan picked up a clean ball, banged it back inside 50. Here they go again, the Cats over the back. Selwood was hanging on a little bit there to right. Hawkins went and got it. Handball to Selwood. Selwood to Caddy. Goal! Geelong have got one. Their first goal since the 34-minute mark of the first quarter. 6-7-43, trailing North Melbourne. 10-7-67, Ray White scoreboard. Again, Josh Caddy, he's had a terrific game. So far, you mentioned that he's gone forward to try and pinch a goal. That's exactly what he's done. Strong in the marking contest, Ferrito able to get the spoil. But then, once the ball hit the deck, I suppose that's where Caddy's going to have the advantage over Ferrito. Ferrito very strong in those one-on-one marking efforts, but Caddy are much better on the deck. 
17 touches, Lingy, just behind Selwood on 18 as the major ball winners for the Cats. And Selwood involved yet again, so it's the same types. Caddy, Selwood, Hawkins doing it all for Geelong. They need someone to jump on board. Cats still at breaking strain here. Walker jumps into Goldstein. Ball hits the deck for a kick. Cats way, it's going to Guthrie in the middle. So the Cats will launch forward. Hawkins the target. Low ball and getting there early was... Well, it was Grimer in the end. Took an easy mark on Hawkins. He read it, and he was on the spot. Goes back to right, back pocket. He goes short to McDonald. Half-back flank. North Melbourne doing everything right at the moment. Poke pass towards Scott Thompson. He marks it half-back flank. Bartell holds him up. So 11 minutes gone, third term, paint away clock, and the Ray White Real Estate scoreboard reads, North Melbourne 10-7, Geelong 6-7. Thompson from half-back to half-forward with a drop-punt kick. Mitch Brown went back, Del Sano, smooth mover. Gave the handball to Swallow on his long left. Didn't get a lot of it, it was past his mother. Cunnington went, got the hard ball, then ran into the tackle of Walker. Just got rid of it in the nick of time. Geelong got the numbers here, three on two, but do they win the contest? No, they don't. Gibson picks it up, gives it to uh, Del Sano on his left. Oh. Nerfs the Del Sano, lovely goal. Well done, North. Good pressure. They respond immediately. 11-7, 73. Geelong 6 7 43, Ray White Real Estate scoreboard. Lloydie, that's exactly why they got him to the club, wasn't it? That sort of finish. Spot on. And I don't think Boomer Harvey's had the greatest of games today. Daniel Wells, I don't think, has had the best game. But when you have guys like Sam Gibson, uh, Nick Del Santo, who else said that's been heavily McDonald. involved. Luke McDonald in his first year has been brilliant. Sam right off half back. Cunnington was tough in the clinches there. So that's probably why they've improved a bit this year, North Melbourne, not relying on the same players week in and week out staring down the barrel here the Cats of being out of 2014's final series in straight sets and the ball up, Blitzars knocks it back to Selwood Selwood or nothing right now kicks toward half forward, Stokes and McDonald got there first, reached him with a fist knocks it down to half back flank Botlock gets there half forward for the Cats Handball to Blitzarves. Wants to go handball wise. He goes too wide though and taken out of bounds by Big Benny Brown with Stokes. Dr. Peter Larkins for a Zito. Subs warming up, Doc. Uh, yeah, both subs uh, are still ready to go. So. What about Macmillan, Doc? Uh, not no. good. He doesn't look good. Have a quick look at him. He's in a lot of discomfort. Doctors have got him not even bothering to sit on the bench. He was clutching at the left hamstring. And I reckon the green vest has been taken off by North Melbourne. Yep, it has indeed. So that's what's happening down there. Stokes is uh, coming from the ground for Geelong at the moment. But this is all North Melbourne. So it looks like McMillan, who's looking very, very disappointed, like it's a long-term injury in terms of a couple of weeks at least. High ball comes. Caddy flies. Almost took a nice mark. High tackle there. Umpire says play on as uh, Duncan straddling for Rito could have easily given away the free kick and I think you're right, I think the vest has come off down there for Bastanak and he's going to be impacted into this game. Goldstein goes over to McMillan, has a word to him and a ball up at Geelong's end of the ground. Cats still at breaking strain here. Free kick's been found, Geelong's way. So Geelong's way and it's Blitzar's ball against Ben Brown, the makeshift ruckman against Blitzars at the moment. Not Goldstein is having a spell. He's on the bench. He's getting ready to come back on. And this is massive. And Dwayne, there's still so much time. Ten minutes to go in the third quarter. So there's still plenty of time for them. But you feel like they have to take every chance they can possibly get. Yeah, on the no wiki carbon replay, it was there. Just a clumsy little grab over the shoulder of Blitzar. Definite free kick. Margin now 30. He can make it 24. And he hits it a bit skinny. Has the carry just. Well, Wright claims that he touched it, and the umpire says, Nick off. No way of knowing you touched it. Not even going to the replay. Forget about arguing. 11 7 73 North Melbourne to 7 7 49 the Cats. And that's on the Ray White Real Estate School Board. They've got the know how. 16, no, 14 and a half gone third term is and even though they haven't gone for the replay of that they will look at it they look at every goal that's scored and they will let the central umpires know if there's a change is that is that though why they didn't go to the replay though vt Uh, probably not they're not showing us any replays on our screens though no they don't here we go now replay uh, uh, or they do go to the goal review on every goal good decision Good decision. Well backed in by the goal umpire there. That was over the fence. Back in the middle (laughs) of the ground. 73 plays 49. So back to a 24-point margin here now. 
As North Melbourne go inside 50 again, Thomas was being held by one. Lonigan got the handball out here to Rivers. Rivers chips a high ball and makes Hall and Smith really run. He did well. Two on one, Hall and Smith. Handball was in hope though. Went straight to right. Picked his way through traffic. Not such a good kick and a lovely mark falling back. It was taken by Mitch Brown of Geelong at half back. Time for a couple of those blokes to stand up a bit. Mitch Brown, a few of the young cats that haven't had a lot of footy. He's not so young, Mitch Brown, but this is his moment. He has to make the most of it. Hawkins gets there on the wing, takes a double grabber just inside the boundary. Blitzars running forward, Botlock running forward. Murdoch, maybe time for him to be a star. Someone needs to stand up. Murdoch gets there, takes the mark, virtually on the wing though. Tries a dance step on Swallow, caught, gave it back to Hawkins, untidy. Picking it up, Mackey, mops up the mess, gives it to Duncan, sends the Cats inside 50, short ball, Motlob half held, ball Ooh. hits the deck, Duncan went hard, nearly got Thompson, umpire said he didn't get him, but Thompson's down, Thompson's down, hurt, as if he was clipped high, ball towards Wells, back pocket, caught, gets a handball towards Zebel, rolling ball out of play, ball in, Thompson's up, nice to see the Nowicki Carbone on that, 11-7 to 7-7, North Melbourne in front. McMillan with the red vest on, so Bastanak has been activated, that's official. 25 metres around from the Geelong City end goal. Umpire throws it in, Blitzar's doing the ruck work against Goldstein. They knock it down, Geelong really pressing here at the moment. Multiple entries inside 50 this quarter. Murdoch and Guthrie collide, that's a good sign, believe it or not. And a shot at goal goes out of bounds on the full. Of course, Jamie McMillan only playing his sixth game for the year, had that badly broken leg through the year, so maybe... Just a conditioning thing, a higher intensity game of finals. Perhaps the soft tissue just goes a little bit. Is that fair to say, Doc? Would that have an impact on, a, on yeah, something I mean, like he that? He certainly hasn't been able to do the running training, and they were assessing him for four or five minutes, and he did some running training, and obviously was tight. So uh, you'd think that they're more prone when you haven't had the conditioning lead. It's a wide ball, back pocket, and Black's got it for North Melbourne, who've jumped with their sub. The Cats yet to Duncan. Now he reached for that, could have gone a little harder. Ball over the back towards Ferrito. Hands it off towards Greenwood. Little push off on Duncan, could have gone harder again. Hands it up to Gibson. Kicks inside 50 to Petrie. Couldn't get there for the half volley. Kept it in front. Rivers wraps him up. Almost caught him high. Ball towards Lindsay Thomas. Now Ben Brown, picked up by Lonergan. Got a handle to Blitzhaus. Crutch. Picked up by Mackey off some hands. Hands it to Rivers. Hands it to Lonergan. Half-back flank. Flick over the top towards Walker. Outside defensive 50 to Murdoch by hand. They're working on the boundary by hand. Mitch Brown back to Walker. Brilliant tackle, Gibson. No prior. Oh, oh the umpire's cooked him. That's you gone for the grand final up. He won't get a gig. He is gone purely on the quality of the tackle yep. there, but just because it was a good tackle... Doesn't mean he had prior up. Poor decision. Gibson handball off the right. Driving kick. Petrie over the top four deep. Blitz arms at the back. Tidies up. Gives the handball off here to Caddy. Looking for the give and go. Handball oh, high. Oh, that Look is prior up. up. Went inside. Lost the footy. Dropping the ball. Incorrect disposal. That'll be a free kick to Drew Petrie. And that might be 50 as well. The ball didn't go back directly. There's some dispute. It'll stay. And Petrie will line up from 35 metres out directly in front. Who was that Geelong player that took him on there? I think it was Thurlow, but the shocking handball, though, from Josh Caddy. He was under the pump, a long, high, loopy handball. It's the third, the third tackle inside 50 that North have laid. Petrie, this is his second. He's played a huge game, this man. Six shots on goal, three goals, three. He, so got, him he got him high then, Petrie, too, by the way. Two goals apiece for each team in this third quarter. Petrie lines up for goal number four directly in front. He's got it. He has got it. Big night for Drew Petrie. Four North Melbourne goals. 12-7-79 North. Geelong 7-7-49. Ray White Real Estate scoreboard. Back to a 30-point margin. Well, that's a massive kick for goal. Uh, One of their vice captains standing up, laying a tackle, kicking a goal. Just watching Joel Selwood on the no-wiki carbone replay. We know how much of a competitor he is, but he's angry at the moment. He's angry probably with a couple of the decisions. But I think he's starting to get a little bit angry and frustrated with his teammates. He is doing every single thing he possibly can right now, Joel Selwood, to lift his team. 20 disposals, but he needs help. Josh Caddy's been very good. Somebody else needs to stand up and help the skipper if the Cats are going to come back from here. Lincoln McCarthy, the Cats sub about to come on. He's just getting ready to rip the green vest off. Up high, Selwood got on the end of the, the palm down from Blitzards and got a free kick for too high. 
claiming he should have got 50. Didn't come straight back to him. He squeezes wide to Enright. Great attack, Scott Thompson. Dumped it down to Harvey. They're about to break Geelong here, North Melbourne. One more goal and they're just about cooked. Thompson down. Harvey through the midfield to Thomas. Thomas looks up. He's got Petrie. He's got Black. Black, open goal. Runs onto it. Did he get there? Just in time. Forward pocket. Hands it up. Greenwood. Knocked through by... Mackey, last line defence, goalkeeper style, through for a behind, 31 points the margin. Boy, what a quarter, and you get the feeling that North Melbourne, as Dwayne has mentioned, have got them at breaking point here. One more goal, and it could be an avalanche. Geelong hanging on. Handball over the top to Duncan, northern wing. Duncan inches the ball down to Walker Hawkins who just wants to stop and push and shove rather than present up and lead. Del Sano gives the handball to the fast running Atley. He burns Mitch Brown off. Chiseling ball to Petrie. Marks it in the jukes. He's told to play on as he ran off the mark. Petrie long ball to the square. Thomas being held there. Surely a free. Nothing on offer. Thomas went down too easy and the umpire telling him that as well. He said stand up. Stand up and fight for the footy. And he initiated that contact. Well called, BT. That's exactly what he did. But Geelong, this is their last ditch at it. Five minutes to try and kick one or two, and it's still game oh, on. Brilliant mark, Caddy. Straight down the middle of the kick. And yeah. Caddy marks inside the centre square. If Hawthorne proved anything last yeah. week, if you're going to finish this Geelong team off, you need to nail every one of your chances. Hurt them on the scoreboard. And Siebel beats Motlop with ease. And he kicks to Wells, who hands to Gibson. Gibson about to send it inside 50. Goes long. Harvey in the pocket. Used his body on end right. Kelly got back. Last line of defence. Short pass to Caddy. Wants to play on quickly. We're down to five minutes to three-quarter time. He gives to Varco. Bangs one wide. Hoping for McCarthy. Fresh man just on. The sub flies. Gets it to ground. Gets the crumb. Can't break free. Got his hands out just in time. Hamble towards Blitzars. Caddy fighting hard. Hands to Guthrie. Hands to McCarthy. Again gets the kick from the wing towards half forward. Walker sees it out of play. Ball out of play in front of Dr. Peter Larkins. Who got the red vest, Doc? Jackson Thurlow, Brian. Okay, so Thurlow, Thurlow out. McCarthy on. Both subs been activated here now. Boundary thrown on the wing. We draw our collective breaths here. Goldstein knocks down. Got it to Cunnington. Little kick out wide. Rivers won't stop it. Over the line, out of bounds, right on the North Melbourne bench. BT, Lincoln McCarthy, a real live wire. Hasn't played much footy at all, only his fifth AFL game. But he's the type of player who's capable of bobbing up and kicking one or two in that forward line. So Geelong need him to have a big impact. 32-point margin right at the moment. Here's Duncan right over the Melbourne logo. Undecided what to do. Drawing him on a lot. He steps on the gas. Took a bounce. Got within 48. Goes for home. Misses. Boy. Big time goal on offer there for Motlop and he misses. Back to a 31 point margin in favour of North Melbourne on the Ray White. Two goals in 53 minutes Geelong. From the quarter time to now, two goals in 53 minutes and you feel like they've got to kick about another seven to win this game of footy. Short pass, back pocket for Rito. Four minutes left to three quarter time. Ferrito for North Melbourne looks up and pumps it in Goldstein's direction. High ball and Goldstein with the reach. Good pluck. Out position Blitzarves. He's beat him all night. Goldstein's got it at half back. Heads toward Petrie on the wing. Duncan, Petrie, they all fly. Harvey gets the crumb. Little handoff give to Cunnington. Little handoff good towards Scott Thompson. Puts it inside 50. Kelly played for the free. Didn't get it. Kane Turner waits under it. Good attack from Rivers, but he's caught. Hamble doesn't hit the target. Lindsay Thomas gave to Harvey. Ball out of play. Forward pocket for North Melbourne. Oh, oh, it's on. Free. It's Selwood. on. Selwood. Again, Selwood to again. Harvey. Right. It's not reversed back the other way then. Oh, yeah. the double reverse. Yep. The double reverse. Thomas calls. Now the triple reverse. <laughs> now it's going back to Harvey. No, no, no he's been rule. sent off with the blood rule, Dwayne. Right. Thomas, right. Thomas was the one that retaliated yeah. after Selwood did. And Lindsay Thomas has cost his side a shot at goal. So Selwood comes off under the blood rule from yeah. that earlier blow to the head. No, that's fair enough too. Lindsay Thomas pushed him up against the fence, got him high, should have been reversed as well. Fair decision by the umpire there. Costly for the Kangaroos. So free kick to Lonigan in the back pocket here for Geelong. High footy, looking for Hawkins. Thompson desperate in front. 
Little handball out wide for Hall and Smith over the line and out of bounds it goes. We'll throw it in again here. So full scores. North at 12.981. Geelong at 7.850. We've got three minutes to play in this third quarter of football on the Ray White Real Estate scoreboard. And the paint away clock. Umpire loops it back into play. Goldstein in front. Little palm down. Barco off the boot. And then again a second time. Sockers along the ground. Gains about 30 and it goes over the line and out of bounds. Just near the Geelong bench. So he's got it to the wing. Selwood having a rest. Strapped up. <laughs> More strapping to that bloody eye. Back into play on the wing. Three minutes left of three-quarter time. Caddy tried to pounce on it on the run. Hall and Smith tried to knock on. Mad scramble. Bartell in the middle of it. He's dumped to the deck. No prior, no chance of getting rid of it. And the umpire will ball it up. Still on the wing. 81-50. to 50. Joel North Selwood Melbourne. up to jumper number three down there. <laughs> I wonder if it's still the number 14. Yeah, he'll have to put on a number 68 soon. <laughs> ball up in... On the wing, Dal Sando gave it back to Cunnington, gives it to Harvey, kick smothered, gathered by Hall and Smith, kicks towards oh. Hawkins, and this kick is monumental. The Cats season is on death row, and Hawkins, with two minutes 30 left to three-quarter time, and the Cats trailing by 31, has a shot at goal from 45 metres out. He's had all his set shots from this position, he knows it perfectly, Dwayne. And they just haven't been able to get it to him one-on-one enough. The midfield has been smashed for Geelong tonight. But this man still looms as the one that can take the game away from North Melbourne. He misses this. I reckon it's over. From 45 out. And he misses it. He's lucky to score. He scrapes it in for a behind. And with two minutes left on the clock, the margin's 30 points exactly. Uh, Lloydie, am I holding on to too much hope, too much of Geelong's past to still say that they are capable of kicking five or six quick goals? But then they can't allow North to kick any, though, Lingy, yep. so that's the issue. The only thing I say about that is they look damn tired at the moment. Here's Varco, handball to uh, Hawkins. Need a goal at this quarter if they can. Mitch Brown will make it a bit easier. Got it down there towards Murdoch, who is being held. Umpire called play on right was there. Spills to McCarthy. Got the handball to Hawkins. He got pressure from behind as he kicked and ended up going out of bounds on the full, in fact. So with a minute 34 remaining, Geelong in desperate need of a goal. They trail North Melbourne by 30 points on the Ray White Real Estate scoreboard. Gibson up to 32 disposals. Kick in comes towards Ferrito. Got under the footy. Harry Taylor went and got it. A high tackle. The umpire says no. We'll ball it up. So 51 metres out, Dwayne, though, from the Geelong goal at the city end. A little pause. Three-quarter time, siren not far away. The crowd know it. 28 gone on the paint away clock on the scoreboard in this third. Brought to you by Ray White Real Estate from the ball up. Knocked down towards Cunnington. Gave it to Harvey. Played for a free. Took the dive forward. Umpire wise to it. Stripped. Comes towards Swallow. He ducked his head and ducked straight into Varco. And the umpire says ball. Yep. Free kick Varco. Good call. Varco may be too far out to score. He knows it. He wanted to play on quickly and he slipped. Now he plays on quickly. Centering kick. High kick. Enright flies and takes the mark. 48 out. Has he got the leg on him? One minute left of three-quarter time. Can he, can he kick it? it from there? Yeah. yeah, he can kick it from there. Well done by Jared Rivers there. Just protecting Corey Enright's space to mark that footy. Good team play. Good clever play. So he's directly out, and he'll kick from right on the 50. Right on the paint. He's got this distance. It's a matter of accuracy. Hawkins has just missed one moments ago to keep the Cats alive. It has got the carry. It has got the accuracy. Little bit of scratching on the inside of the Cats' coffin. 30 seconds left. Three-quarter time looming. They're still in it. 81-57. to 57. North Melbourne by 24. And a bit of panic, Dwayne, on the Nowicki Carbone replay. North Melbourne coach Brad Scott... He's just saying, keep that man back behind the ball. I think he just wants to make sure there's no more goals in this last 30 seconds. Well done, Travis Varco. The tackle on Swallow was really strong. It was aggressive and a smart kick. All the numbers were back for North Melbourne. He used the switch across to Enright, and that is a huge goal. When he asks the question, can they do it? Well, that lifts the spirits a bit because they get it under that 30 points. So we're back to the halftime margin of 24 points. No ground made. Three goals each in this third quarter. Got 37 seconds left. Going to be a mark to Stokes here at half back. So Geelong will go inside 50 or towards their forward end. Gives it to Enright. A very ordinary kick by Enright. Goes wide and McDonald for North Melbourne. Marks at half back. 
She so played back behind play. Scott Thompson yeah, just slipped, the ball. He just slipped over, I think, Dwayne. Kick goes wide to Boomer. Boomer Harvey, a short ball on the stand wing. Fine swallow. Time ticking away. There'll be no further score. This will be it here to three-quarter time. So a 24-point margin in favour of North Melbourne at three-quarter time. 12-9-81 to Geelong. 8-9. 57 on the Ray White st- uh, real estate scoreboard. A big last quarter of footy coming your way on the other side of the break. They certainly are. Geelong are within 24 points of North Melbourne at three quarter time. 8 9 57 Geelong North 12 9 81. 24 point margin. Seb Costello with the Blamey Saunders here. Goldstein up to 43 hit outs BT. If he repeats his effort in the first term where he had 25, he'll set an all time AFL record. Certainly contributing for the Ruse. But Lloydie, you've been red hot on the fact that the midfield has just been all North Melbourne's midfield disposals tonight 218 to 141 so the better part of an extra 80 disposals in the midfield going North Melbourne's way yeah yet the inside 50 Seb 38 to the Kangaroos 36 to Geelong but I think it's just North Melbourne their flexibility inside forward 50 four goals to Petrie three to Thomas singles everywhere for for Geelong for all the balls slinging they've been getting in there, they haven't looked that dangerous inside 50 tonight. No, nah, only the odd time, yeah. as you've said, where they can get it to Hawkins That's one-on-one, right. on one, and he's been able to do what he does best and use his body and take those marks. They just don't seem as dangerous. And North Melbourne have, have been quite well structured down there. Geelong, again, I, I don't know, I, I live in the past a little bit. I, I still think they can come from behind here. North Melbourne, they cannot go into match-saving mode at the start of this quarter. They need to keep playing. They need to keep taking the game on, speed on the ball, everything that they've done in the first three quarters. Otherwise, Geelong will come over the top. Let's get down to ground. Doc Arkins for Azito. Yeah, both teams have brought in uh, fresh players and their subs uh, in that quarter. Jamie McMillan was off 12 minutes in, uh, having some hamstring assessment, Brian. They did sub him out after a couple of minutes, which brought in Bastanak. Lincoln McCartney in for Geelong, fresh legs with the back to Thurlow as a... Uh, just as a tactical move. Jared Rivers really struggling, Brian, with the uh, bleed into his calf. He's on the bench at the moment with heavy strapping on it. And Boomer Harvey has been reported to the match review panel. Brian. OK, nice work, Dr. Peter Larkins. Boomer Harvey reported again. In 30 minutes from now, one of these teams will have their season over. Ball up. Final term for Chemist Warehouse. Underway, 24-point margin and in favour of North Melbourne. And the other one will be playing Hawthorne at ANZ next Friday. No, Sydney. Sorry, Sydney yep. at ANZ and next the Friday. Other one, I think the other one might actually get beaten by Sydney next week. Not sure either of these teams can beat the Swans. Caddy floats one inside 50. Cats inside 50 early. No one can mark. Lincoln McCarthy spins it to full forward. Walker down there. One grab, two. Oh, he's paid it. He oh. has paid the mark. <laughs> it was mark. not a mark. No Terrible way. decision. He, he's had a bad night tonight, BT. What's his name? This Matty umpire? Nichols. Matty Nichols hasn't had a great night. He's going to see the umpires next week because he's the one that's oh. made a couple oh. of calls. This is going to hurt. Oh. I mean, if this gives North Melbourne moment, if this gives the Cats momentum, this could sting big time for North. He nearly pay it. Top of the square goal. Cats get the opener of the final term. He's got three, and the margin is three. 12, 9, 81 to 9, 9, 63. One minute into the final term, brought to you by Chemist Warehouse. By the way, all the big brand vitamins are half price at the footy final sale at Chemist Warehouse. I like the forwards reaction there from BT. You'd nearly pay it, but I don't think that was a mark, Brian. Uh, Very, very lucky for Josh Walker. But this game all of a sudden becomes very, very alive there. Geelong, they'll make North Melbourne nervous. There's a lot of North Melbourne players haven't played a lot of finals footy. Geelong come. They've got Caddy, Selwood, Duncan in the middle. Caddy and Selwood have been great tonight. When Dwayne says three, he means three goals. 18-point margin in favour of North Melbourne here now. Geelong have kicked three of the last four goals in this game. And we've got another ball up in the middle. Hey, I reckon Lincoln McCarthy's made a difference too. He's a bit of a live wire. He's been important since he's come on. He has. Knocked down here by Blitzarms. Marco rushing the ball in the middle. Swallow. Good handball to Del Santo. Banged it on the boot. Trying to get it inside 50. Kelly first to read it against Thomas. Thomas just gone off a little bit in his game. Kick wide, risky one to Walker. Nice punch on by Thomas. Cunnington went and got a beautiful handball under pressure. Goes back to right. Now on to Boomer Harvey, who's been reported yet again. Got it to Del Sano. Del Sano from 60 metres out. Tries to slot up the leader. Black and got him. Just to clarify that, Doc, 
It's only an incident report for them to look at Monday. It's not actually a report. Is that correct? My, my instruction from AFL was that an incident report means it goes to the match review panel automatically for right. them to rule on it. So, so it's, it's related the to the Selwood incident so when he got split open. So, yeah. Right. Yeah. so it's so essentially the same as a report. The wording's different, but I, it ends up with match review panel to rule on it. Must be something else to what we saw, Lee, because it was only yeah. a head clash that we yep. saw that split Selwood open. So here is Black of North Melbourne. 45 metres out on a 55 degree angle. This would be a little bit of a dagger, and it is. The kick is magnificent, no fades. And a minor score at the end, so 82 to 63 in favour of North Melbourne on the Chemist Warehouse scoreboard. I was with you, BT. That looked good off the boot. Short pass to Mitch Brown, straight down the middle from Andrew Mackey. Mitch Brown backtracks almost all the way back to the goal square, heads wide, Duncan's on the loose, got the reach on Harvey, you've got a fist in, nice fist too by Boomer, ball hits the deck, Boomer picks it up, gives it to Greenwood, he wants the one two Boomer, short pass, Lindsay Thomas, and he marks 49 out. Turn and the back, turn around and needs yeah. to look at what his forwards he are doing. He just points towards the goals and says, I'm going. He's going to be kicking from 52 yeah. on the boundary, you just, you've got to turn around, there might be a lead out, maybe there wasn't. He turned his back and then turned and pointed straight at the goal. Said, I'm going for the big sticks from the gutter. That's okay if you're 10 metres out straight in front, Dwayne. Not on the boundary. He kicked three in the first quarter. Hasn't kicked one since. This is huge. From the boundary line. The hero kick from 51. Strikes it okay. It's across the face. Black up. He's marked it. He has marked it, Black. On the behind line. Now he'll be on his left foot here, Dwayne. Makes it hard for the run around. That's a good grab. Fingertipper, middle of the pack. So he's up against the boundary himself. Cats hem him in. He's going for the kick around the corner. He opens up the angle and he's kicked across the face. And there's another behind. Geelong players got talking to the umpire about where the line was then and he just played on. (laughs) Caught him off guard. Uh, by the way, they gave him about eight metres then because yeah. they were on the edge of the 10-yard square. They gave him too much room. But the umpires at least have got better on that. So it's 83 play, 63, 20-point margin in favour of North Melbourne. Kick back into Duncan and should get a free. And he will at centre-half back. Interference in his attempt to mark. Mitch Duncan wanting the ball back quickly. McDonald not obliging. Kick out wide to Harry Taylor. Can run onto his left foot. Left foot outside of the ground. Runs past the interchange area. Touches the ball on the ground in the old-fashioned style. The wet style. Now he goes long and oh. deep. And Hawkins is marked. Now the man on the mark's at 40. So Hawkins will have to kick it about 48 metres. And he's on a 45-degree angle. Northern flank at the punt road end. Hey, BT, I've been feeling like he's stabbed at them tonight. Even though he kicked his first two, he's just not sinking the slipper into it. So that's often when they drift away off the boot when you don't kick through them so they'll be kicking from about 45 here so they won't have been this close since when Hawkins kicked the last goal of the first quarter to get them within 12 this will get them within 14 points and really set the momentum rolling Hawkins with a monster kick at the punt road end it's on the way it looks good bending back not enough minor score 64 Geelong 83 North Melbourne Chemist Warehouse scoreboard. Well, that would have hurt if you had to kick that. North Melbourne missing their two set shots at goal through Black and also, I can't think of the other one, so it doesn't matter. But if Tom Hawkins had have run down and kicked that goal there, set shot, would have really hurt. John Longmire watching the game with Stephen Silvani, which is a strange matchup, really. Soss works for GWS, of course. Maybe they're just seated near each yeah, other. I think they're the AFL seats that they get them. Okay, now it's a free kick here to the Cats. Going to Guthrie, just outside 50. No one on the mark. Plays on, hits the top of the square. Walker, a big fist come. And it's smashed through for another Cats behind. They're getting ever closer. And North Melbourne, not getting a little jittery here, are they? Seven minutes gone. Pain away clock, last term. Brought to you by Chemist Warehouse. 9-11 to 12-11. Three goal margin. Not playing with the same speed, Dwayne. All of their kicks are very safe at the moment. No, looking very tired here at the moment. The Rouge. Here comes the Geelong Hand pressure. At the top, Swallow. Gobbled up there by Selwood. Forces the turnover. So here they go again. Kick back inside 50. Got to go, Mackey. Harvey did wonderfully well. Got it to Del Sano. Lucky kick from him. Lands with Gibson. Gibson gives a handball out wide to Boomer Harvey. 
He gets the ball on half back with a left foot kick around the corner to Bastanax. So Bastanax, the fresh sub, looks up and he's got Del Santo running. A nerf settler maybe coming up here for North. Del Santo puts it inside, 50 wide. Thomas plays for the free. Stand Jumped up. on. Should have got a free perhaps, but because no. he plays for so many, he was never going to get that. You know what? You're right, Dwayne. In the end, they don't they don't pay him anything because they're not sure whether he's con them. Yep, yep. And I, I reckon a normal player gets that free. Ball knocked down towards the boundary and we'll get a ball in 35 around from North Melbourne's goal. I don't like to call him an abnormal player, but you know what I mean. 83-65, to 65, North lead in this final term brought to you by the Chemist Warehouse. All the big brand vitamins, half price of the footy final sale. So and big boundary throw in here. And the thing is, he's a wonderful player. He's a good mark of the footy. Run, jump, mark the ball. Not a lot of people can stop him. No, they can't. Out the back door it comes to Stokes. They need to find someone in the Cats team that's going to stand up here and really produce something. Kelly's kick horrible. Went straight to Wells and Wells hurt you. Doesn't he? He's a very, very good player. And a good kick finds Turner, the youngster. And he started with a goal in the first quarter. Gives the handball off to Wells from 50. Launches a long ball. That'll be no score as Caddy marks it right on the behind line. Cats believe here. You can sense it. Yep. Just got to get cleaner, Dwayne. They, they do believe, but they're just butchering the footy. Caddy puts it outside 50. Motlop and Goldstein. You can take a guess who's going to win that. Goldstein held it long enough. Crowd enjoyed the fact that North Melbourne get a break. Goldstein hands it back to Harvey. 70 from goal, floats it up long, Lindsay Thomas there, Petrie there, Zeeball! He drops it though and it hits the deck and uh, it's out of play now. Lonigan claims he marked it, Zeeball thought he had a piece of it and the ball out of play, forward pocket for North. Three goal margin here, North lead. Well, it's someone's yeah. mark, it's yeah. either Zeeball's or Lonigan's. Yeah, and Zeeball had first hands on it and Lonigan had last hands on it, so I don't know. Handball comes out in the end. An opportunity for Motlop to square it up to the wing. Hawkins right up on the wing. Grimer, beautifully timed punch away from him. Got the handball off to Barco. Barco to Stokes. He got rid of one tackle, ran into another. Cunnington was the tackle and he's been pinged here, Barco. Or Stokes it is. And a free kick will go the way of Harvey. So Harvey's about 75 metres out from goal. Waste no time, but the umpire says, come back on your angle. <laughs> I think because the umpire was used by Harvey as a block there for the man on the mark. <laughs> yeah. So Harvey with a free kick here, a long way from goal for North Melbourne. Spearing little ball along the boundary line, so just inching it forward here. And an opportunity now with Gibson. Gibson goes long and deep. Brown the target. Up they fly. No winner in the air. Off hands it comes to Del Santo. Picked up by Black. Threw a bit of traffic. Left foot snipe. One behind. They're not kicking their goals, North Melbourne. Missing their chances. They need to take them. Geelong, you feel, is this going to be able to go coast to coast? 84, North Melbourne, 65, Geelong. Chemist Warehouse scoreboard, Dwayne. 12 minutes left in the season for one of these two teams. Bitsart takes the mark. Half-back flank, virtually on defensive 50. Held it long enough. 84 to 65, as BT told you, on the Chemist Warehouse scoreboard. A floater, swallow, front spot, good grab. Horrible kick, good grab, swallow. Halfway through this final term, North Melbourne have led at every change. Heads to the pocket, big Ben Brown, and to the back, Zebel. It was Brown's ball, it just looped over the top of his mop, and Zebel marks 45 degree angle, 45 metres out. And this one of the areas where Brad Scott's improved as a coach the last four or five weeks, he's sending... Midfielders to full forward is Ben Brown. He's been a tired boy tonight, but <laughs> Zebel, <laughs> led legs, <laughs> led legs. Zebel and Cunnington going forward. Uh, we saw him kick four goals, five against the Crows only weeks ago. Jack Zebel. You'll hear the roar here. North Melbourne fans are on the edge of their seats. They're getting a little nervous. Zebel, it looks good. It looks magnificent. I can almost smell a prelim final. Almost. 13, 12, 90. Plays 9, 11, 65. 12 gone final term. 12 left final term. You're right, Lloydie. It's a, it's a move they've been able to use, haven't they? Both Zeeble and Cunnington. Instead of resting on the bench and spending time there, let them rest, sort of, by going forward and being that dangerous option. And Zeeble, we know he's a really good overhead, strong mark of the ball. But what a kick that was. Really important for North Melbourne. He's given them that buffer. 
You still feel that there's a few twists and turns to go in this game. Haven't been in a prelim final since 2007, North Melbourne. A very big opportunity here. They lead by 25 points here with 11 minutes remaining. Off hands, Thomas. Left foot straight, no missed. Boy, that would have been the nail in the coffin. And he misses. So North by 26 points. They still have not put it away, Duano. Straight down the middle of the Cats. No time is of the essence now. Long. Up they fly, Hall and Smith, Bartell, they all went up, no one down for the Cats, unfortunately, free kick North Melbourne in the middle. Again, Selwood again, through frustration, just a head-eye tackle. Okay, on Atley, and he shorts it wide, and Greenwood's got it still inside the centre square, up against the side of the square, he goes for the pass, and Zeeble on his own again, he could be the hero! Zeeble, 45 metres out, 45 degree angle, but the opposite pocket this time. What he's done, Brad Scott, is he quickens up his midfield by getting Cunnington or Zeeble to full forward, yet they're both such good marks. Zeeble up against Travis Varco out of the goal square. That's a great matchup. Aaron Black was nearly the one who yeah. spoiled that yeah. for Zeeble then. See, if he can kick another one here, this is huge for North. Yeah, he kicks this. Cats are dead. Season over. Ten minutes gone in this final term, and he loads up. It looks good. Liggy. Better put 500 on the bar of the edge tonight, mate. <laughs> Whack 500 up. The boys are coming back. North Melbourne are into the prelim, surely. 14-13-97. Place 9-11-65. We've got 10 minutes left. Might just uh, encourage them to go to another bar, I oh, think. Peter tonight, Burnett, 500 on the bar. <laughs> they might be in a bit of a grumpy mood. I think we'll head, let, them, uh, let them head somewhere else. But that's a fantastic kick again by Zeeble. Lloydie, you called it his ability to go forward, but what I love there is his ability to stand up in big moments, kick two crucial goals. Really high-quality play from their vice-captain. 32-point leaders here. Ten minutes remaining. Back in the middle. Brown of North Melbourne, given Goldstein a drop out. Wins it, gives it to Greenwood. Driving forward is Zeeble again. This time the punch away is there. The hand from Lonigan was good. It spilled down here to big Drewy Petrie. He had trouble picking it up. Got Harry Taylor wearing him like a glove. Now Gibson went and got a ball uh, spills loose. And over the line, out of bounds. Free kick, Harry Taylor out in the full. Ah, okay. And immediately goes backwards and finds an opportunity here. And uh, the mark's taken by Caddy, but got, it'll come got, back, will it? Yeah, got to go back, BT, got to go back around the mark. So it'll be Harry's ball on the halfback flank for the Cats. Mm. Big Harry short to Mackey. Crowd roaring here. Cats season just about done. Ball hits the back. Picked up by Greenwood. Got a handball on. Little knock on with superb. They're doing everything right here. They can smell some more blood, North Melbourne. Harry Taylor, halfback. Lonigan, halfback. Lonigan marks. Still fighting hard. Straight down the middle. Hits Duncan. Lace out. Duncan looks up. Who does he want? Who can he find? Who's free? No one's free. Hawkins, half forward. Uses his body and takes the mark. 49 out. Tough kick, though. 45 degree angle and outside the arc. That's a good mark. He's not just strong, is he, Lloyd? He's, he's clever. He protects the space so well. Oh, he does. And uh, if only they got it to him more often here tonight because he's been unstoppable. But McCarthy's just yeah. knocked yeah. young Turner over. Never. And they attack McCarthy, North Melbourne. It's been inaccurate tonight, though, the Tomahawk. Gets it some sky. It's long. It's strong. It's high. It's there. Yeah. Just. Just over the line. He's got through the Tomahawk. 16 and a half minutes gone, final term. 8.40 left on the pain away clock to be exact. And the catch, 10.11.71, North Melbourne, 14.13.97. Lee Matthews theory, Lloyd, is still plenty of time. Uh-huh. It's minutes versus goals. Four goals or probably five goals required to uh, take the lead. Eight minutes, 40 to go. Is there another turn in this game or am I just dreaming now. Uh, I think you are dreaming Lee. <laughs> I think you are. Ten goals on the night. They just haven't been able to kick them quickly enough. Uh, North always respond. 
I think I said about 65,000 here tonight. 65,963. You were 963 out. The official <laughs> crowd here. 26 point margin at the moment. Geelong out of the middle. Caddy with a clearance. Gave it to Mackey. Straightens up with the ref, but right boot. Didn't look that good. Along the ground the kick went. Not so good. Greenwood just lifts it up to himself. He took him on. He was caught with a tackle. So here's one for Motlop. Breaks the tackle. Gets the 50. Let's it rip to the punt Uh-oh. road in. It's a goal. It's it. No, it's touched on the line, said the umpire. Will they review it? Hawkins pleads. Haven't got time. And it will not happen. So a minor score. So 25 point margin, Dueno. How'd it look like on the review, guys? You saw the replay? Jeez, I reckon it was close. But you you must, you should have reviewed that. They review goals because they've got time to get it back to the middle. But yeah. they don't review behinds. Now, free kick. Enright was dumped in a marking attempt by Harvey. In fact, by Benny Brown. Enright, too far out to score. We're about to tick into time on final term. He pokes it up. Wells front spot. Ball to the back. Oh, Hawkins, kick, Hawkins. Hawkins was held. Hawkins held. And he's just kicked one from around about this spot. The angle's a little worse, but he's a little closer. I don't care what you say, Lloydy. I still think there's a little bit to go in this game. Another goal here. Tom Hawkins, he, oh, he did grab around the waist there. Scott Thompson, free kick was there. Huge kick now. Okay. There's 19 minutes gone, final term. 10, 12 to 14, 13. It's there. Hawkins loves it off the boot. North Melbourne just getting a little uneasy here. 14, 13, 97, 19 gone, final term. Chemist Warehouse scoreboard, Geelong 11, 12, 78. 19 points the margin. This is the man that we've spoken about all night. Grimer wasn't good enough. Scotty Thompson's not big enough. They're panicking, but it's just down to whether this midfield can get enough ball in there because Goldstein's putting on a clinic. How are they going to handle Buddy and Tippett? That's right. Exactly. (laughs) Good. Exactly. So it's a 19-point margin. They've kicked the last two goals here, both from Tom Hawkins, who now has four. Time's an enemy for them now. We're almost into time on here. Nine and a half minute mark. Geelong have pulled their forward line all the way back. Massive space opened up if they can get the centre clear. Brilliant smother on Gibson by Selwood. Selwood runs and wins the footy. Gives the handball to Enright. He popped the little one out and turned it over. Now it comes back to North Melbourne's Greenwood in the middle. Little left foot kick out wide to Goldstein. And he takes the mark on half forward. There's just under seven minutes remaining now. Goldstein with a handball over the top to Harvey. Harvey probably should have given the handball. Got to within 48. Went the little one and found Greenwood. Greenwood has marked 35 out on a 45 degree angle for North Melbourne. Hey, Seb, give me Greenwood's last quarter. I think he's been the best man on the ground this last quarter. How important these touches have been as well. Eight disposals, Lloydie. He's kicked it four times. Each of those times he's hit a target and he's won two clearances. The best of the ruse in this final term. He was massive in the second half last week too for the Kangas. Huge kick this. Greenwood. I know I'm dreaming that Geelong could make a comeback but this will end it. 30 metres out, 19 point margin. Greenwood comes into the city end. He's dragged it across the face and hit the post. And a minor score, so a 20 and even 20 <laughs> points. Now in front of 65,963. So they still need four goals in six minutes and a big pluck over the top drop by Cunnington. Picked up by Murdoch off hands. Goes long. Hawkins on 50. And he's just kicked two from that spot. Exact spot. Could he kick another? Oh, it's a nervous 65,000 here as he backtracks. Wipes his hands on his backside. We're ticked down to 5 minutes and 40. 98 to 78. 20 points the margin. This kick to cut it back to 14. To make it 14 points with 5 minutes left got plenty on it it's drifting it's across the face 19 points the margin in favor of north melbourne at the 21 minute mark of the last quarter there's five and a half minutes remaining north melbourne will just try and control the footy here just take that minute off the clock they still want to make sure they move it down the ground though don't go too slow too safe now you don't have to wait for the last three minutes to take it off you can take one or two minutes off yep. now and then it makes the last three minutes a mad panic for the opposition 
So North Melbourne kick to the contest. Mark taken here by Harry Taylor. He plays on the left boot. Centres at the top of the goal square. Hawkins is one on one. He's got a mark in the goal square. Hawkins is marked in the goal square. Dead in front. <laughs> Stevie J and Gary Ablett cheer in the corporate box. And he's taken a mark. He'll go back and slot goal number five with very little time off the clock. And Geelong are back in business. 4.45 remaining here at the moment. And it is a 13-point margin. Boy, what and, about this? And Steve, give us the three goals. Has it been in the last five minutes, has it been? Absolutely, Lloydie. Tom Hawkins getting involved. 16-minute mark, 18-minute mark, 22nd-minute mark. Three goals in six minutes. Just get away from him. Yeah. <laughs> give him the whole 50 if you can because uh, he's unstoppable. Crucial centre clearance, this one. If this gets in the Geelong forward line, gee, that makes the North Melbourne defenders nervous. If it goes down the other end, North can maybe just just work a little bit of time off the clock and try and trap it in there. So 13 points the margin. Four minutes, 44 left. They need three goals in four and a half minutes from the ball up. Goldstein knocks it down. Free kick, Goldstein. No, let's ask. Oh, wrong oh the umpire pointed the yeah. wrong way. So the North Melbourne players have all taken off. And he didn't give them time to adjust. Geelong go forward. Ball hits the deck. Hawkins flicks it over the top. Oh. Murdoch knocked down outside of the boot Stokes full forward Modlop gets there mad scramble North Melbourne get players back and the umpire will ball it up top of the goal square all yours BT well he didn't give the North Melbourne players when you make a mistake and point the wrong way you're supposed to give them a chance to get back into the right positions he didn't do that handball by Guffrey McCarthy snap and goal Geelong have got it hang on a huh? goal review hang on we're going to have a goal review here <laughs> a goal review you can't hear what the umpires are discussing he said he believes it's touched and the replay to me looks like it was touched as well oh. from Thompson did you see the finger there Lordy or am I no, seeing things it's, oh, oh it's hard to yeah. tell we'll oh, see this the, the close up here we go we're watching the no wiki carbine replay now do the fingers go back no, no. Oh. it may be off forearm. the inside of the forearm but they won't be able to pin that one this will be a goal this will be oh, a no, goal. Oh, no, moved. that's touched. It's moved his skin. It's oh. moved his skin of his forearm. Well, that must be an incredible close-up picture, oh, if that's I the case. Oh, I that. Gee, I tell you what, it's back within seven points if it's ruled a goal. Do no. we know what the umpire's call is here, BT? No, we don't. He, he, he believes it's goal. touched. No, he believes it's touched. It is touched. It is touched. Oh, so, 86 crazy. to 98. That is a, what is it, a 12-point margin. We could have extra time yet. What a bizarre scenario that would be as Wells takes the mark on the boundary line. Half back flank. North by two goals. Three minutes 50 left. Short pass to Petrie. Takes the mark on the wing. He backtracks now. Almost at a half back. Three minutes 40 left. The clock keeps ticking. 98 to 86. Chemist. Warehouse scoreboard. Petrie told to go. Kicks to Goldstein. Up and not through his hands. Cunnington kicks towards oh. the top of the square. Lindsay Thomas. Ball hits the deck. Swallow gets there. 50 from goal. Caught. Flicks it up. McDonald kicks it backwards. And Scott Thompson marks middle of the ground. He does. And he wants to take some seconds off the clock. We're down to 3 minutes and 15. Thompson now told to kick it from the middle of the ground. He does. Goes long and deep and wide. Knocked away here by Motlop. Motlop gathers his own ball. Handball in front of Caddy. Beautiful pick up. He takes a bounce. Runs to the wing. Now Caddy with a nice kick. Here's Hawkins. Takes the mark. Uh, Hawkins, 80 metres out. Over the top. He's got Stokes over the top. Stokes can mark and go. He does. He's within 40 metres. Tries to sell some candy. Bartel. Bartel is marked. Within three metres of goal, but on a really acute angle. This is a run-around, snap-around, right-foot kick. Bartel brought around on the angle. He'll face the middle of the ground. Professionally take a couple of steps in and kick the goal. This, to get it back to one goal, could be a draw. Bartel snap, goal! Oh. He's got it! Geelong are back within a goal. Geelong are back within a goal. They were 32 down at the 14-minute mark. And now a one-goal difference on the Chemist Warehouse scoreboard favouring North Melbourne. Lingy, if you're North Melbourne, who do you put in the centre bounce? Is that where the problem is? Yeah, they've got a winner from this centre bounce. I'd go with my big guns. I'd go with Zeeble, Swallow, 
Cunnington in the middle there. Maybe Levi Greenwood. Yeah. He's been terrific in this last quarter, as you said. They have to win this ball. And then they've just got to have composure. They've got to control the footy. I'll tell you what, if this is Geelong centre clearance, though, it is scramble. It's just do everything you possibly can to stop it. This would be devastating for North Melbourne if they lose from here. We could be bound for extra time. If scores a level at full time, we'll get extra time. Ball hits the deck, flicked up. No clearance just yet. Now there is. Barco runs onto it. Hands it to Mackey. Inside 50. A mongrel to the forward pocket. Rolling ball. And Grimer takes it out. We've got two minutes and eight seconds left exactly. 92 to 98. One goal the margin. North Melbourne lead. Chemist Warehouse scoreboard. Here's Brian Taylor on 3AW football. Four goals in the last ten minutes for the Cats. They trail by a goal. Big chance to draw here. Paul and Smith dragged off the footy. Ball up now inside Geelong's forward 50. 45 metres out from their punt road goal. Watch 28 minutes ticked over. 1 minute 58 remaining. Watch for Geelong opening up the space here at the stoppage. On the move. Blitzarves knocks it to Selwood. Keeps his feet. Turn around. Snap it. Goal. Here comes Hawkins over the back. Big fly in the pack. No winner in the air. Greenwood to Grimer. They'll want Grimer to kick the footy. He handballs backwards. Grimer's going to be under press. He's dragged over the line. Geelong lock it in there. Forward 50 here. With one minute 40 remaining, they trail by a goal. Oh, they're panicking here. They've got to get the ball forward. They can't just try and protect. A minute 40 is a long, long time. Yeah, they messed that up. Ball still inside the Cats 50. Blitzars rocks. Ball knocked down. Could have been a free to north. It is. Play on. Free to north. It's coming back. Umpire off the balls paid that one, Dwayne Oak. Okay, Zeebel. Matthew Nichols is the man. And it's going to Kane Turner. So Kane Turner in the back pocket. One minute 34 left. North Melbourne by goal. 98 to 92. And they have possession. And the kid from school has the responsibility (laughs) on his shoulders. Hope he's done his homework. (laughs) And he has, because he goes down the boundary line within about 10 metres. Big pack forms. Ben Brown was there. It comes to Zebel. Off hands, Del Santo snuck a kick forward. Kelly was being held Stand by up. Thomas. Now play on as Kelly gathers the ball. Pumps it forward. Long ball from Geelong. Goes down towards Bartel. Over the back. Should have tapped it over the top. Got the handball off the Selwood. His kick was smothered off the boot. Ben Brown went and got it. We're down to the last minute and seven seconds here. Geelong have got it within 75 metres of goal. They trail by one goal. And a ball up at half forward for Geelong. 80 metres out from their goal here, the Cats, and they're down by one goal. Cats get a goal, we're into extra time, ball knocked down towards Zebel. scrambles a kick away, it's a roller, a tumbler, and it's going to be a Cats free. Yep. A Cats free on the wing, 51 seconds left. Every North Melbourne yep. player gets back. The kick inside That's 50. 50. Oh, he ran ahead of him. It could have been 50. Should have been 50. Straight through Hawkins' hands and Ferrito. That should have been 50. He come in the five metre protected area from behind the mark. They've stopped paying that, haven't they, BT? Jeez. Huge moment. 41 seconds left. North Melbourne by goal. Cats forward pocket. This is amazing. Footy in its best. Ball back in. Can the Cats get the goal to level it? A scrambling kick. Deliberate maybe from Swallow. Oh, oh you can't it. pay it there. He's paid deliberate, but too far out to score. Went down to 30 seconds. Kick to the top of the square. Murdoch. Goldstein. There's the winner. Goldie takes the mark. North will win. Still 24 oh, seconds left. Time to go. 23 seconds, Dwayne. Still plenty of time. They've got a man up quickly. Now, well, Del Santo. Play on, play on. He's been told to play on. The players haven't realised. Del Santo goes down the line. A high ball. One-on-one's mark taken by Geelong. Go. It's Mitch Brown. We've got uh, nine seconds left. Another mark by Mackey. He's got to go. Three seconds. They're outside 50 here. The mark will pay. Siren sounds. North Melbourne have won. Champions, you'll agree. North Melbourne is the team that plays to win for you and me. Oh yeah, 
Geelong, 13, 14, 92. Going down to Melbourne, 14, 14, 98. In front of 65,963. So join in the chorus and sing it one and all. Join in the chorus. scores north of one by a goal and a thriller after Geelong kick the last four goals of the game and come home real strong but North Melbourne got a ripping start in which they kicked seven goals in the first quarter and they held the lead from that point in time on Cameron Ling and Matthew Lloyd your thoughts oh gee I love football I love footy that was an incredible game, Lloydy. Geelong, so brave at the end. North Melbourne, brilliant all night, except for the end. Oh, what a brilliant, brilliant game. Oh, you're right, Lee. It's been one of the great final series. Apart from that Richmond-Adelaide game last Sunday, it's been one of the best final series I've seen in North Melbourne. They took the game away from, North, from Geelong in that first quarter. Geelong all night have struggled, and this team... And this great team that we've seen that you've been part of, a huge part of, Lingy, have been up for so long and they were brave right till the end. But uh, North, they just probably tried to hold on. Geelong kept coming. They got long balls in at Tommy Hawkins. He changed this game in the last quarter. But uh, well done, Todd Goldstein. Late when a mark needs to be taken, he took it. Oh, that was unbelievable, yeah. Mark, wasn't it? Massive pack there, numbers everywhere. He said Tom Hawkins kicked five goals for the night. So brave. Oh, wow. What a game of foot. I'm exhausted. It's, it's, uh, it's nothing to say that I feel like I've played because those 44 players out there on the field, they will be truly exhausted. Both teams gave it their absolute all, and that's the great thing about finals football. You know that every single player is doing every single thing they can to try and drag their team over the line. And you're right about North Melbourne, Lloydie. I think they probably went safe with that seven or eight minutes to go, thinking right now all we've got to do is hold on. Seven or eight minutes we know is a long time in football. Yeah, Brad Scott, the Wiki Carbo replay, he's chuffed, but at the same time he's probably a little bit disappointed with what happened there. You know, they're playing Sydney in a preliminary final. They would be ecstatic, but in saying that, he'd realised there's a lot of areas... They must improve in, but you wouldn't want to take away their fun. What a victory it's been. They've been criticised several lot throughout the year, but they are in the final four, so they're in with a chance. And let's not forget, Lloydy, the last time the Roos played the Swans in Sydney, it was a seven-goal win to North Melbourne. Of course, that was at the SCG, not ANZ, but, hey, it gives them some hope. Oh, you? you're beautiful, <laughs> Seb. You've, uh, you've thrown the hope out there, I think. Oh, the Swans are going to be hard to beat. Up there, anywhere, just their lineup is first class. But hey, that's the great thing about footy too. You never, ever know in a final. I think we came here tonight thinking Geelong probably win this one. But North Melbourne, they were brilliant early, brilliant at different times in that game. And we saw an absolute rip of the Geelong players out on the ground now. Absolutely shattered, but just quickly walking over and thanking their cheer squad of the year. They won't want to hang out in the ground too long though. They'll be shattered with that loss out in straight sets. They'd be hoping to have been heading to Sydney to play in a preliminary final. How long is that since that's happened, straight sets for Geelong? Uh, that's a very, very good question. Wouldn't have, wouldn't have been in recent history, no. would it? No, not in, not in my time. No. Straight no. sets hasn't happened, I think, for about, you know, in the last decade, virtually. Yeah. No so team has gone so long go down to the rooms, North Melbourne um, are, are very much within celebration here. They know they're up against it. I can see the the sad or the bad luck story is uh, McMillan is down there. He's got his left, ha- left hamstring strapped with ice on it. And, uh, I don't know whether it's uh, any sort of major tear, but we all know even with a minor, it's, uh, it's a two-week injury. It's three weeks normally, but, uh, you know, so it'd be doubtful whether he's going to get up. So, And I've noticed a lot of players consoling him as well. So... It may well be not good news there for McMillan. And Lindsay Thomas had a pretty poor last quarter. He was falling over left, right, right centre, but he can hardly walk himself with a left knee. So, uh, and I'm sure he'll be right, but that's the, the blessing of having a week off. You sit back, you watch two teams go at it while you're 
you know, North will come in pretty bad, bad and bruised next week. So just watching the North Melbourne players gather around the race here. Um, and uh, Matthew Richardson, our own Matthew Richardson, down there doing some work for seven tonight, talking with Goldie as the players gather and wait for all of the players who have gone to all parts of the ground to celebrate with their fans. And North Melbourne, if you've just joined us, have won by one goal from a fast-finishing Geelong who kicked four goals in ten minutes in the last ten minutes of the game to get within a goal. They looked gone at the 14-minute mark of the last quarter. They were 32 points down and gone. And Tom Hawkins stepped to the plate and kicked three consecutive goals but wasn't enough in the end to get them up. Just watching Richo uh, interviewing Todd Goldstein. What a mark that was at the end of the game as, as we just touched on. But what a dominant display by him in the rough. 54 hit-outs, huge, huge help to his team, hits to advantage, got those on bowlers, especially going in that first quarter, really got them going, but big Goldie will have enjoyed that mark, he prides himself on standing up in the big moments, he certainly did that for his team as the players head down the race, they'll be very tired, very relieved, very happy, No, they maybe got away with one, but they also know they're headed for a preliminary final and they will belt out this song for sure. So North Melbourne have won here 14-14-98 to Geelong 13-14-92. A six-point win in the end. And they'll play Sydney next Friday night at ANZ Stadium. That has already confirmed that that is a Friday night game next week at ANZ Stadium. A big win for North, but you wonder how they're going to handle the big forwards that Sydney have down there. Let's go down to Doc Larkins, who's down in the North Melbourne rooms. Yeah, understand we're behind us. Reception waiting here, the biggest rooms I've seen in North this year as they come in to uh, the congratulations after a win that gets them into that uh, prelim, as you said, on Friday night. So uh, Brad Scott was uh, pretty excited as he came through and uh, all the staff here in a big, big group as they get ready. Brad uh, just coming past me now, so we don't go. Big win there from North Melbourne. Jump on the line, 96900 693 on the Winston Open line. Come on, North fans. Are you passionate? Do you care? Get on the lines, 96900 693 on the Winston Open line. You can jump on right now and tell us how proud your team are because they're going to play Sydney next Friday night at ANZ. 96900 693. North by a goal. We're going to take a break on 3W Football, then back down into the rooms. 3W Friday Night Footy.